I'm yeah. on the Twitter ready for your post. And oh my God, it's already there. My chip oh my crunching God. isn't too noisy, is it? Is it coming through the mic? I oh, don't worry about it, bro. Oh, you're good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. Every time you want a chip, I'll eat it for you and I'll crunch for you. <laughs> I already speak hers. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. Hello. Hello, Internet. Anyone watching this now or in the future? Hello, players. Hope you guys have been doing all right. And let's see. I guess... Uh, kick back off with a recap. Uh, can you guys hear musics? Yep. All yeah. right. Yes. So, short recap. You guys have been going through the volcanic dwarven city, fighting various undead, and you guys have just li finally liberated it last session by slaying the dragon. And now, we pick back up immediately maybe not immediately because you guys did spend a couple minutes after killing the dragon doing stuff but mm -hmm. you guys find yourself still within that primary chamber that the dragon holed up in uh and when we were here, we didn't find any useful notes as far as we're aware. And we've already looted the stuff in here, right? Uh, I don't remember you guys really doing that. Uh, I remember you guys sort of looking over, but not actually uh, examining the stuff. I think we found, like, documents, but otherwise... <clears throat> Yeah, the che I know for a fact that me and Zig looked in these chests and you said they didn't have anything, but in unless that was just an end of session, you'll get it next session, you know, type talk. So things in the chest, and they there are things in the chests, and it is seemingly more uh, related, sort of like uh, things relating to the table that just aren't being used right now. So like, like various, ingredients and stuff. Yeah, ingredients, books, uh, jars, vials. Vials? I look over at Zig. Hey, these are pretty good for the jug. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, how many are there? Because I'll, I'll mark them down. Uh, there's many vials. Are they empty, full? Uh, some are empty, some are full of various colored, well liquids of some kind all right um do you just want me to roll a dice to see how many sure uh what dice 2d10 2d10 okay nice <clears throat> all right you found or are taking 11 vials of unknown properties okay <laughs> Unknown substance. Can somebody look at it? Interesting. Can somebody maybe try to identify these things? Yeah. Using what? Oh, um, a crafting check. <laughs> Looks at Kelly oh. Sewell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, Dolgren's gonna leave the room, so I'll. I'll just back him up. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Standard DCs for a level. You guys are level 8 now. So that is a success. Uh, you can identify that various things in the vials are not what you would call medicinal. Uh, some of them are filled with various like oils or acids. Like, things to do either machine or chemistry work. Mm hmm. Okay. Got uh, so WD-40 in here. We will say five of those vials are various oils slash greases, and the others are various acids.
Interesting. And, and then, of course, all the tables are littered with basically just all kinds of alch alchemy lab, alchemy tools, and also mixed with other things. Uh, I believe we discussed you guys kind of looking over them a little bit last time, and it seems that uh, all these are like very mishmash Frankenstein-esque combinations of like alchemy labs and occult tables like the dragon was mixing magic and science together or trying to cool um But what's Dolgren doing all by him by his lonesome? He's checking out this door. Oh, well, I mean, he's not alone. <laughs> you open it, and you find three more uh, dwarvish bodies in another workroom, very similar to the one you just went through. Uh, he will say a prayer to Angrad, consecrate them. Then he'll pile them up on his shoulders and go and toss them into the lava. I'll help him if he needs it. He's got it, but he appreciates it. <laughs> yeah. Just you know. And then, is there anything else time. in here? Also, since at this point we think we've been through everything, um, did Dahlgren find his dad? <gasps> he has not. Oh, right. Hey, Dolgren. Uh, oh, and he's fucking gone. <laughs> Fast little as dude. Yeah. As we're walking back, you know, uh, I'll just be like, uh, Dolgren, yeah, you seem to be looking for someone. Or something. Indeed! I... I am. Do you need help? And, uh... What should I look for? I say as we approach this pile of bone. No, no, I... I have it. I appreciate the... Offer. But I... I shall manage. Yeah. And, uh... He is no. digging through this pile of corpses, Zach. Alrighty. Give me a perception check. It's on the wrong page. Strength. All right. <clears throat> so you begin to sort through this pile of bones. Uh, sorting by skull would really be the easiest to get a summation of who or at least how many people are here in this sort of like we'll call it a pit uh, as you're going through just gathering up the skulls of the deceased and the fallen and sort of setting them aside preparing them for maybe ceremony or burial of some sort you find there's phrenology studies <laughs> you find one that stands out one that has a very familiar metal eye patch like that's welded to its skull over his eye you recall that your father figure had an eye patch very much like that one he grimly takes it in his hands uh, and I guess Fanati was hanging around this entire time uh, he sees Dahlgren's were like hugging this skull to his chest and crying for a for a moment before he stands up, uh, wipes his eyes, says, "I am, um, I I must go see my mother," and he hops off. Yeah, I'll, I'll let the people know, and uh, I'll just kind of look over at him, run down the way, and kind of kick the dirt. And now he doesn't feel like we won too hard here. <laughs> Like we killed the dragon, but <laughs> this place this place was awful. We had to kill a shit ton yeah. of of dwar or of Dolgrid's family, man, you know, friends. Yeah. yeah, like 
Yeah, most of this mountain was dead. Yeah. Not all adventures Even have so. happy endings. Even so, uh, Anadi right. will... Uh, move 655 feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. He, he, he gets there, what, 10 turns? <laughs> <laughs> takes him one minute to run through the whole castle. <laughs> that beast hauling ass straight away. But um, while yeah. Dolgren dips, departs for X amount of time, is there anything else you guys are doing? Uh, not necessarily in this chamber, but since we have most of you guys together. Kali uh, uh, is pouring over just any potential crafting material. Oh, yeah. um, just whatever this can, room is rich of crafting materials. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize Kaisa was right behind me, but otherwise, uh, Anadi will effectively try and hide and mask most of the feelings he's feeling right now and just kind of, you know, slap the sides of his cheeks to look back to his friends. Oh, come on, lads. We fucking killed the dragon. Let's go fucking celebrate with other people. Tell them the oh, good yeah. news. Yeah, yeah, we gotta tell all the other dwarves. Yeah, come on, yeah. man. He's got that, you know. He's got that picture of me in the, <laughs> that I always have here where Nadi's always smiling. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna tell him, maybe don't pop confetti in their faces, but yeah, let's go tell them. <laughs> well, I don't, well, Bob, that'd be more of your thing. I don't really care that kind of stuff. <laughs> Not confetti, it's body oil. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't blind them as, you know, they step into the light. But yep, you guys uh, all begin to make your way back to the the hidden hovel where the rest of the dwarves were hiding, and I'll just go ahead and start. <laughs> what? All right. Uh, what is Kelly Sewell doing? I just He's just looking around. around. Everybody else can do whatever they want. <laughs> He's just looking around. Okay. Is there yeah. anything in particular that he is looking for? I just because I just realized that you're like. Just, just, just crafting materials, man. Listen, I've got a, a whole bunch of new items I can craft. I'm looking for stuff. All right. Well, I mean, uh, this, this is a dwarven uh, mining city. Well, smelting city. Uh, there, it, on top it would of take all me the weird multiple days to crest start crafting anything. <laughs> Holds up hand to DM. Just yep. in case any of these places might be trapped or are dangerous, I'm not going to leave Kalisul alone. <laughs> So right. I'll stay behind here until we okay. all leave the fortress. <laughs> also, I, I, he doesn't feel like he is welcome in the presence of other dwarves. <laughs> Just keep the mask on, homie. Yeah, the mask is not coming off. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the two of you guys wander throughout the sort of halls and various chambers. And like I said, uh, it's a smelting city. Uh, you have all the alchemy weird alchemy shit lying around all kinds of blacksmithing stuff there's all yeah. kinds of tools and supplies that Kali Sewell can make use of for making just about whatever he wants good. but uh good the rest know. of you guys as you depart from um, yes if, if uh, Kali wants I could hand him the bag of holding that way he doesn't have to try and fit everything in his bag that's a sure oh. Why not? Best friend. <laughs> Let me tell you about my best friend. But uh, as the rest of you guys depart from Cali and Anadi, music stopped. Where is it? Oh well. Uh, as you guys begin to make your way back to the hovel, uh, you can see that the, the chamber entrance is very, you know, very open. Uh, like, no one is bothering to uh, have has bothered to rebuild up the entrance way. Uh, you make your way back inside, and you see the, the group of surviving dwarves, uh, and they are all kind of uh, kind of quiet, but you can hear them whispering and muttering something, and they're all sort of gathered around the rear of the uh, we can just call it a cave or chamber and if any, any of you guys uh, focus enough you could see into that secluded somewhat secluded area 
you can see Dolgren uh, conversing with his mother. But as you guys become to enter into the chamber, is there anything that you do? I mean, if they're having like a serious conversation, I, I, I don't think Zig would try and take the importance away from that. All right. Well, Dolgren begins to. Uh, Dolgren has also told people here that uh, you know we slew the dragon. He's he's not like leaving them in the dark about that. <laughs> All right. Well, as Dolgren makes his way back to the chamber, you bring back the bittersweet news that whoop, that the kingdom is now free of the tyrannical rule of the dragon and the of their cruel undead king. But there are many fallen that have to do still be taken care of. And you There's still the giants you gotta kill. <laughs> and you greet your your mother and present her with uh, the news of her late husband. And obviously it doesn't go over well. Uh, the other dwarves as you try to you break the news to your mother, you know, they sort of are semi-circled, gather around in the chamber, and you can understand that they are all, you know, humming uh, either dwarven hymns or mm -hmm. saying little prayers of themselves. But however much time uh, it takes for you to... I guess comfort and console your mother uh, when you're done. Yeah, does well, like does does she want his the skull or? Ah, uh, uh, yes. She what will, does she want to do with it? She is fine with either returning him to the mountain or putting his skull in the uh, crypt chamber. Uh, Dogan would like to put his skull in the crypt chamber. Alrighty. Because part of the reason he was tossing people into the lava was both, you know, returning them to the mountain and making sure they couldn't be raised again somehow. But you do remember that there is a specific chamber. Um, it, it's sort of like a catacombs. Uh, as, you know, you can't just dig regular burial plots in here. But once you are done uh, you can turn you turn and you see some of your companions uh, in the chamber and at this point you do notice that Anadi and Kali Sewell are not with them whether or not you think much of that is up to you but no I know they march to their, the beat of their own drum <laughs> wow they're a weird group of guys <laughs> But, uh, both times yeah. when you both walked off, I would just followed you just in case there's any fucking leftover traps. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I don't want you to blow up. But yeah. yeah, I'll I'll be like, yeah, they're they wanted to make sure there wasn't any extra roaming um, creepers around. He sort of sighs, uh, you know, wipes away any tears that might still be on his face, which I mean, he's he's. He's a Gripply, so his skin is always looking a little moist. Um, so they might just be a little bit harder to tell. Uh, he says, Yes, yes indeed. Um, I, I thought we, we gather our strength here for the evening. Or whatever time it is. And then, if you are up all up for it, we force out the giants and you, one of the reasons you said you wanted to come here was to possibly gather tools to help in the fight against Ash, uh, Ace Rerack. <laughs> and, uh, and while the dragon did not seem to have much in the way of that, we did see the giants had quite a horde amongst them. You know, I completely forgot about them. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. I did not. <laughs> yeah. I did not forget the mountain of gold they were sitting on, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
might as well try. I mean, I, they can't be that much harder than a dragon. I would not think so. <laughs> I hope so. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so you guys uh, begin to formulate the idea of going back to tackling those giants along with as part of the, uh, you know, sweeping back through, making sure dark things are not creeping in the halls anymore. But if you guys uh, tell them that you haven't seen any more zombies, and of course you've told them the dragon's dead, the people uh, in the cave are very, uh, very animous about leaving the cave and going back to, let's say, their, their more normal dwellings. Yeah, like, so they had, uh, so they would sleep in actual beds instead of on the on the ground. Um, are are they wanting to to stay here? Well, yes. Why, like, like it? This well, is, this is their, their home. home. Cause, uh, how how many lived here before the whole dragon? Like, Let's are they see. able to to protect it? As they stand. Maybe not directly, but uh, they can tell you that they do plan uh, on sealing off the primary entrances and exits and really whatever else they can find, trying to essentially refortify the city, you know, kind of close it off for a while. How uh, well acquainted are they with the bird people? <laughs> uh, they probably know of the bird people, if, if you if the Aarakocra are who you're being, but they yeah. don't heard really... about uh, the situation here from the bird people. Okay, well, well, I, I meant like the the dwarf community as a whole here, because um, we could always try and get in contact with. Beak in the bush. Oh, yeah, beak, <laughs> and see if they could send like some people this way to like aid, like food and stuff like that. Do we have a way of contacting him? I I, I don't know. I don't think so. Or did, don't we have like messenger turtles or something like that? I'm trying to look that up right now. I'm trying to remember what they're called. Whimsical hearts, <laughs> I think. Damn it. Give me a moment. I'll find that stuff you keep playing. Yeah, you guys have found a couple there little <clears throat> origami animals, which are uh, essentially magical letters. Once you finish composing the missive, it folds itself into the shape of the animal and flies at a speed of 45 feet, which is roughly 15 miles per hour towards the location for up to 24 hours. So... I guess that'd be up to the DM and how many hexes we cross in one day, because 15 miles per hour through jungle terrain, that's pretty, that'd be pretty fucking good, especially if it's by the bird or by the crow flies, effectively. Yeah, definitely faster so, than just walking. If I open up the map, then, if this thing's within 24 hexes, then this message could actually reach Beak. It's the first time we have seen daylight, and... Yes. Well, we're just looking <laughs> at the map. Yes. We're, at, we're, not at, we're not at the day right <laughs> No. But, uh, there you we look. go. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, it's too far. We could get. <laughs> we could send it to the fucking queen. <laughs> the one at the fucking. Uh, and we tie another. We tie another turtle to the turtle we sent her and ask her to pass the message on. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could, but it's probably not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, I don't think we she are would. quite far. Yeah. All right, because what? Well, what's what's our game plan once we fully get out of this mountain? Because I, I well, the idea is that we'll have a bunch of gold, so we could go back to well the port. We could, but this is something that I wanted to bring up. But Nadi walks back because I moved him back to the location. 
he walks in on this conversation and pulls out the map and then he's like <laughs> starts bringing out his opinions um uh the a naughty city is not too far from here shilku and uh i was kind of hoping that i you know uh, I, maybe i'd find my dad and i'm not entirely sure if i will i got zero fucking idea where to start but uh I kind of want to know why he left me and my mum. I never expected to get this fucking far, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, I was content in Port Nyanzaru, and then uh, you all showed up, so... Uh, I, feel you... like I did not. It's just that. <laughs> Dog oh, <friend>. didn't. <laughs> Does uh, any of your uh, people know of uh, where Anadi's talking about? Uh, it's right if you bring here. up the sit town of Shilku, there are a few remainers who do know of the town, and they can point you uh, since you, you know, were, since you essentially freed them from a dragon. They can actually point you at a way to get you there a little faster. Uh, Fuck yes. There's a, you know, there's all kinds of caverns and uh, tunnel systems that make up this. Uh, city essentially because it's you know it's mostly a giant mine but there is a route that will take you to the other side of this mountain system to get you a little closer it'll at least shorten your trip there by a couple days hey, that'd be great <clears throat> if it's possible and not he's and now he's appreciative of the dwarf suggesting this but he's more hesitant at his, as he's looking at his companions <laughs> Uh, Dolgan is just going to look real quick to uh, the snake in the party. How long did you say we have until your sister and her friends end the world? <laughs> he goes, I don't know. Let's go to the naughty city then. I'm sure it can't be that com coming up that short soon. I just feel like perhaps no matter what the situation is, once we get there, the timer starts. <laughs> um, It'd be kind of awkward for a campaign to just have all the events happen off screen. What yeah, the... if we run this on the hardcore setting? <laughs> God, that'd be how, so uh, fucked up. How well off is that? Is the naughty city? Are they like? I don't think anybody knows. The like, like dwarves might know. Yeah, like, oh, what was it, like, have any of them actually been there? Uh, they have heard. Let's see. Yeah, if I recall correctly, not trying to ruin your okay. potential plot idea, but from what you told me, that the Nadis tried to keep it hidden. They don't like people because people don't like them being spiders. Yep, that is mostly true. Um, the people who are still alive, uh, None of them have been there, but they have heard tales from friends and family who are not longer here about their trips or things they have heard from the city. And what they can tell you is that while the Anadi city was a relatively like typical, we, I guess, jungle city, beach jungle city, you know, very tribal. Um, a couple years ago, they saw a, a major technolo technological advancement to where they now uh, re resemble, ugh, the words, resemble more like maybe Port Narnzaru, even maybe even a little more technologically advanced. Shit. All right, well, that's good to know. Yeah, we might do. Uh, might benefit there then. So we're not like running out of time for anything, are we? Like, do we need like I else? <laughs> like meta, I said, meta, meta knowledge wise. wise. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just I have a feeling that if events kept happening off screen, we'd have already have lost by now. <laughs> I mean, there's only like three worldwide doomsday events going on at the same time, but. No, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very laid back game of For the King. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know.
I mean, you say that, we still technically... There's still three fucking Sown sisters out there. We haven't dealt with any of them. I don't know if we can. Yeah, I don't know if they're, like, part of the... I feel like they're just part of the end dungeon or whatever. I have Maybe. no idea. But, uh... Yeah. Because we have absolutely no information about where any of them are. Uh, they, they mostly I mean, just fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuckers. They pop up, I'm just here to mess with you. Not do any real damage. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, how do people feel about going there and possibly see if I can find my dad? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think we'll, we're ever going to get any closer from where we're at right now. And with what they're saying, if, if they're pretty well advanced, if not more than what the port is, we could get pretty well geared up with the and potential gold we'll get from those giants. And with the trip, uh, well, remember, <laughs> Nutty's going to lean in. I think some of that gold might belong to these people, and they oh. might need it to help rebuild. In fact, it oh. would be a bad idea if we escorted some of them there to, uh, you know, be like, hey, we need aid. Yeah, yeah, w w 100%. Like, we're not going to take all of it, but we're, we're going to take some, because yeah. we, we need to get prepared for what we're going to face. Oh, I won't lie, brother. I think, I think we deserve a little bit. For the fact that we helped them free them of a dragon. Also, uh, also, now I I haven't personally sl slain a dragon before, but aren't they supposed to have like giant hordes? Make a knowledge check. What kind of knowledge? Uh, I'll <laughs> accept society, nature. Or Arcana. All right. I will use society. Oof. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Zig, you <laughs> you actually wrote Horde Slayer. That's funny. Uh, you do recall <laughs> that dragons typically all have very similar mannerisms. And one such trait is that they do tend to gather hordes. Um, different dragons hoard different things, but people, they're most infam infamously known for hoarding what other people would consider like treasure. Now, now with what we know of, of, the, of the dragon, would, would that room that we fought her in be her horde? It didn't seem like a horde. Uh, from how people describe dragon hordes, they they are literally like like a mound of something. Like dragons, uh, they, dragons essentially form hordes because that's what they like to sleep on. They like to sleep on their collection of wealth. Okay. So it would um, be a it would typically be a big pile of something. Okay, I'll. Oh, uh. What was the name of Dolgren's friend? I can't remember off the top of my head. Thimblem. Right here? Uh. Yeah, uh. Thimblem. Um. Did you happen to know where, uh. The dragon slept? He goes, I have no idea. Okay. Alright, well. Uh. There is. Highly possible that there is a another large horde of wealth somewhere down here uh, wherever she was sleeping so just keep an eye out for that whenever you guys are reclaiming your areas you guys will do thanks for letting us know you don't think uh, I'm gonna lean into Zig and the crew you don't think there's a giants were just using her wealth you know and letting her sleep there and they just didn't like her did you I I I don't I don't think so cuz from what I'm you know remembering that they normally like I hate sleep around those areas. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't think the 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 uh titty dragon would would hire <laughs> giants to I'm sorry, what's it? <laughs> yeah, you, you heard me. Basically, 
Did I stutter? I, my, my mind was in a different place, such as let's not fucking die to the dragon. Is that were those going to be your final thoughts? <laughs> I I will yeah. neither conform, confirm, nor deny on what you'll my just, last thoughts would have been. Yeah, you'll, you'll just conform. stumble over your words. All right. <laughs> a daddy walks away from him. He won't conform right. to your standards of beauty and <laughs> either. Zig, perhaps there's a little bit of celebration then, since uh, the dragon's dead. Why don't you just serve up these people as much alcohol as that thing can give? Uh, I, I would, but <laughs> Kelly Sewell currently has the bag. Oh, fuck. Where is he? Is he done yet? I... <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> he is still roaming about the city. Or at least a part yeah, of Yeah, I, I, I figured it'd be easier for him to grab crafting components with the bag than him having to personally haul it. He is going to have so many crafting components. <laughs> Comes back and just like, we can't get rid of any of the bulk in here. We need it all. <laughs> It's, it's uh, in, in a week. He he makes his own homegrown tank. I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> He's not a hoarder. Everything has a purpose. <laughs> I could use this to blow up a city. You'll never know. It's, a, it's yeah, purposeful to me. As you guys are making plans to rest up and go kill more monsters and venture more, uh, anyone who listens to the dwarven people, um, yeah will hear that they are, of course, drawing up their own plans of cleaning up, rebuilding, uh, resecuring, uh, pretty much essentially trying to get the city back into shape as soon as possible, because they mentioned something about the Heartstone. Yeah. What? What was that? Uh, if you ask any of them about that, they will tell you that every major dwarf settlement or city has something called a heart stone. Some people call it the stone of the earth or the heart of the earth. And essentially it's a, a very precious gem that dwarves aren't even really sure where they come from. But they act as almost like beacons for dwarves. Uh, you guys recall that there was a lot of dwarves that began to like sort of migrate through the port and you've heard them tell tales of them going to like fight a dragon and such which Hugh was one of the original people from that crew and essentially they explain it to you that these magic rocks uh, they call to dwarves and so they call dwarves from like all over the world and whenever a dwarven city is in like need or is being assaulted you no know, dwarves who aren't already attached to a heart stone can feel like this tug like I am needed somewhere and then they form a pilgrimage to go find this place that they're needed at uh, they Shit. they say that uh, the heart stone was operational but they feel that during the rampaging of the dragon and its corruptive nature, the Heartstone may have been damaged, and so they need to go check up on that because they can no longer feel the Heartstone. Um, do they even know where it's at? It's in a lower level of Rock Hanar. And I'm assuming the lower level is like this way. Uh, there's multiple ways to get to it. A lot of, a lot of the caverns sort of intersect back into each other. Because okay. even all these are like even all these mine carts and the giant uh, entrance way that you guys came down. All of that is technically Harak Hanar. All of that is a part. All that counts as the city. Okay. You. Is that something that we want to help with? I Can we even help with. I I I feel like there's other things that we need to do 
Yeah. Other than that, not not, not that that I don't want to help, but we are kind of on a time crunch. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, you know, kind of wanting to help and stuff like that, I'm gonna look over at Dolgren. <clears throat> do you um? Do you want to stay? I mean, this oh, is your I family. Have... I would, yes. But my player does not want to bring in another character. <laughs> <laughs> I, f I feel like, you know, th that's fair. You know, we all respect the player. We all pray to the player. <laughs> Additionally, I, you helped me save my home. It is the least I can do to help you on your journey. Oh, thank you, Dolgren. That's very kind of you. I am a kind frog. You've, you know what? You are. I don't think you've ever done anything wrong in my eyes. Oh, um, thumbs also... Up. <laughs> thumbs up back. <clears throat> uh, when it gets to a point where, like, the core members are away from Undril, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we should think about Abandoned. leaving her. <laughs> yes. I don't it's, think it's we're... Not, a... it's, it's just because that... I feel like she's not able to match up to with what we're running we, into. We might have I, enough gold after the giant encounter to get a ship if we go back to the port. The port is not going to take us closer to Omu, though. We could possibly charter one, though. But we could get, get one to the, to the Anadi town, and then that would basically put us in the same place. Well, yes. Perhaps we could ask Andrew what she wants to do. Because um, in roleplay moments, I do not control her. <laughs> if you ask Andrew, Andrew yeah, fucking um, listen, love, we love you, but uh, I don't know how to put this without being honest. I don't know if you can keep up with us. It just feels like there's machinations beyond our understanding and control that we cannot keep you along us without you getting seriously harmed. She says that's that's a little funny because I was gonna talk to you about a sort of similar thing. Um, oh not shit! That I'm I, falling behind. Not that I no, of course not. She says <laughs> not that I don't enjoy being a hero with you guys, fighting monsters and saving people, but I always like to stay where I feel I can make the most help. And you lot seem to be able to take care of yourselves pretty well. But these people need some help. So I think I'm going yeah. to stay here and help them. Okay. It's fair. Um, I, I hate to ask, but <laughs> can we have it the staff be... back? Can we have the and, armor too? <laughs> yeah, and the armor. <laughs> well, listen, we're not gonna we're not gonna sugarcoat it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe not the staff. It looks like these people might be able to use it, but the arm is probably very good. <laughs> She, she chuckles and she says, Sure, these were your treasures to begin with. And she'll give a I don't think it, she says, Can I anyone don't, in our party even use it? I don't staff. need them to render aid. I'm... Uh, I but during this conversation, <clears throat> Algren ends up uh, looking down. It's like, I am Grad's beard! Did all of you notice I had this weird symbol suddenly on my chest? Uh, did you, no. what? I look at his chest. <laughs> so, as I described last time, uh, he has a symbol of a great axe emerging from a forge. Metal. It almost looks like it's been burnt onto his chest. And he, he pokes at it, and as he does, you see a his hand like glow briefly as he restores 18 hit points to himself. The hell? <laughs> oh! Shit. How the fuck did you do that? I have no idea. How? He pops oh, himself okay. again and nothing happens. <clears throat> I must I must investigate this further. It's like you're a blessed one or something. <laughs> Seems Sorry. that way. But yeah, no, that's um fucking useful. Oh, you would have you and another person, I don't know if you met him, uh called Alexander. Uh actually yeah, you wouldn't have. He could do something similar. And now he says kind of like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe kind of sort of. Did I? Yeah. I, uh, 
And the nice thing is, I, I feel like this doesn't have any verbal components, which means I can cast it while raging. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Blue has learned something. <laughs> Indeed. Raging only prevents the use of actions with a concentrate trait, which is only on the verbal component of casting spells. I see. And of course, with you... Ogren says with of his a, uh... one in Arcana... <laughs> making sort of a uh, show of this some of the other the other dwarves you know they kind of gather around they sort of like are giving you praises and stuff uh, patting you on the back uh, congratulating you on being chosen by uh, and the fire forge or the forge yep. fire <coughs> their uh, primary deity fuck That's uh, pretty fucking cool. <laughs> the first time I emerged from Dragon Breath, I wore it. Now this time, it has forged me anew. Dogra, I'm not gonna lie, that was fucking metal to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a no, blade that, that has been retempered. Yeah. Only to be made stronger. But, uh. Indeed! Yeah. Uh, Distant voice. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it's one of the people in the crowd. It's Thimblin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Johnny Exposition. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's as you guys best. are sort of like more or less hanging out here, uh, people begin to try to start skirting their way out of this little hovel, trying to make their way back to the more residential dwellings, uh, wanting to bring you along with them. Uh, for yeah. safety measures and to, you know, make sure you guys actually get a bed to rest in as well. Yeah, and but, we got to find yeah, Callie. Let's, let's do that. And then, you know, let's celebrate and respect the dead of those who are gone. <clears throat> <laughs> and fucking Callie, I find him. Come on, are you done? Uh, no, there are three chests I cannot open. Oh my god, those aren't real, Kelly. The fake, the imagination. They're right there. They're what not real. <laughs> There's lots of chests you can't open. Yeah, even the ones that he put in, they're not real. But I see them so clearly. <laughs> I grab him by his coat collar. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll just have you guys sitting in here. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. Fine. over the next uh, day. No day. Yeah, you guys rest. Uh, you guys mend yourselves, mend your gear, uh, eat, and between, rest. Between uh, Callie's um, searing restoration and my lay on hands, which I think Dahlgren will eventually figure out. He sort of, as you know, people mention like, oh, it's the forge fire. You know, he offers up prayers of gratitude and that restores his focus point. Yeah. And so between the two of us, I think we can get everybody back to full health question though how quickly do you think dolgren would uh learn this uh well, i mean if people are telling him like yeah it's a blessing from uh I this mean, god i mean yeah there's people who are like yeah that is a symbol of our deity and of course this being a city it does have a church which just has all kinds of religious texts as of course there is a library with all kinds of history hmm. and so with help from them and just pouring over stuff, if you guys take enough time, you could learn things. And something as simple as this, you guys can kind of put it together. Especially with bigger brains like Kelly Sewell in the group. Metal. I will go up to 96 then. I got a big so brain. You guys Huge brain. Rest, uh, catch up. Um, yeah. Perhaps we'll borrow our equipment back from Andral after we've dealt with the giants. Um, Mr. DM Man, yes. uh, while we're resting, I would like to try and get in contact to my deity to let them know the dragon was slain. Alrighty. Give me a I'm trying to think. Uh, well, I guess we'll just make it a will check. Alrighty. During the first night of you guys arresting in this town, you uh, 
usher out a prayer before going to sleep, and you enter in the oh-so-familiar dream, sort of dream realm, where you were greeted by a weird little bird again. A weird little bird that has, like, a beaked, almost gas mask-looking thing. It goes, you have called. Uh, yes. Um, I was wanting to let you all know that the dragon that was in that mountain uh, and summoning undead has been slain. How very uh, good. Did you catch the name of the dragon? Zig knows the name of the dragon? Alex can't remember. <laughs> Alright, so you tell Tinder. you tell your little bird friend the name of the dragon. He goes, Noted. Is there anything else you wish to uh, make it known to us? Um, okay. Do I have, like, my possessions still on me? Uh, technically. Alright. Uh, I'm going to uh, open the bag of holding, and I'm going to pull out the... Oh, what, what were they? Uh, the soulmonger parts. Ooh. Not oh, yeah. not all of them, because I think that we should keep a couple pieces. That way we could try and study it. But I have ten parts, so I'll pull out, say, five. And I say, uh, we found these. Uh, she was having her minions make these in the Dwarven Forge. Uh, we think they're for the Soulmonger. Um, here's half of what we found. Uh, we're going to try and do some research on our side, but I figured you people might be able to gather information as well. So, And, I'll, and I will... Uh, so it's a bird, so it doesn't have hands, so I will... Uh, take a cloth, wrap it up, wrap them up, and like tie it and set it on the ground for it to pick up. Alrighty. It hops down from a tree branch and lands on top of the little sack. And uh, it's like, thank you for your contribution. Uh, we will look into these artifacts and inform you of anything that we can find. Okay. Is there anything um, else? I I know uh, you don't spend a lot of time in my realm, uh, but would you by chance have an idea on where the dragon kept its hoard? It goes, I have no such knowledge. <laughs> okay, I it was a long shot. I, I you know, uh, but I, I think that's it. Unless there's anything you need to tell me. Uh, we can tell you that the curse is still plaguing the world, and the ranks of undead seem to grow stronger every day. But we still have not found any more of this soul monitor. Okay. We, we have an idea on where it's at, but we, we won't know for sure, but we think it's in uh, Omu. Or somewhere around Omu. Oh. Yes, there is a quote unquote uh, an ancient city that was there. We will look into the reports of this. Oh. At least I I th I, th I think it's Omu. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, also, I can't remember if I told you this because it's been IRL time months. Um, uh, the Sewn Sisters uh, are working with a Rack, uh, which is the lich that made the Soulmonger, or or is the one in control. We're not entirely sure. Um, uh, there's that also is quite troubling moods. Uh, there's also these weird snake people trying to summon a demon to end the world. I think. I think a it was god. a demon, a god, whatever. <clears throat> um, and uh, but I think they're in the same area because I, I, I believe that they're working 
with or for uh, Rack. But we haven't confirmed that yet. Because we will look into these as well. Thank you okay. for the donation of information. And a- any time Zig will uh, uh, do the the curtsy with his new helmet, <laughs> and uh, and I yeah I I think that's it. So um, if I find anything else, I'll. Uh, try and get up, uh, in contact. Also, is this the same bird that I talked to last time, or is it a different bird? It seems to be the same bird. Okay. Are you the All same right. bird? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, it goes, it says, if, unless there is any more information or other facts you wish to depart with me, I will make my leave back to my master. Um, I I think that it then it gives a nod of its head, and you wake up to presumably the next day. Okay. Guys, I had the weirdest fucking dream. <laughs> uh, should I should I make a crafting check? I, I wanted to be crafting last night. All right. What would you like to get started working on? Uh, I would like to start crafting a psychopomp mask. All right. And so you don't have to do that. Uh, you don't have to make a check until after the four days of crafting. Yes. And then depending on what you rolled, you know, kind of dictates of how much more time you have to spend making. Okay. And so, yeah, you, Kalisul, can just physically begin to craft uh, some kind of mask until he basically falls asleep at the work desk. Yep. Yeah. Let's uh, take care of some giants and then make our way to Shilluk. Uh, Ch- Ch- I can't fucking remember the name. The town of the Anatis. <laughs> Shilluk? Right. I don't remember. All right, Shilku, so, that's what it is. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead and put yourselves into whatever marching order you guys would be in. And are there any... Which direction do you want us facing? Uh, facing south. And so don't get in the front. And you want to bring any of the NPCs? Um, um, I, yeah, uh, I, I feel like Undra would be... The, her last hurrah. Alrighty. Or we rob should... her of all of her shinies. <laughs> we're, uh, we're just her. planning on getting her killed. Wow. <laughs> uh, Zig, you might want to go back up to full HP. Uh, I, I I did. Or did, oh. did it not save? It, it, did, not it just save. doesn't look like it on the token. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Oh, that's good now. Yeah, because... Uh, Alright, uh, I will say, from what I remember of the room last time, there was that little outcropping where we killed the basilisk. If I could go up there, snipe from there, the rest of you, there was an area, um, it looked like you could walk into it. Uh, we'll we'll just retrace our steps. All of their guard dogs? We killed two. As far as we were aware. Yeah, they might have more now. Yeah, they probably do. We have no idea. The only way to know is to figure it out. So, uh, let's go. All right. You guys begin to march down the somewhat familiar hall to the grand descent. As you tell that you're getting closer, at, by the sound of the rushing waterfall, it begins to fill your ears, so you know you're getting close to where you remember the giants being. Can we have a uh, bulb with dancing lights? <laughs> <laughs> If Bob Excellent. wants to. Unless you, unless you want me to be holding a torch, Bob. Alright, yeah. Bob has dancing lights going. Sick. Alright. Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, so... Sniper people up here, up front people down here. It's the plan. Yep. Alright, right, Kelly, me and you t- up top. Yeah. Bob, I suppose it's your choice which way you want to go. And Undra will go with the Downwards crew. <clears throat> oh. 
Um, would I be too far away for everybody else to be getting the? Uh, I think all of all of uh, the low road crew has a yeah. dark vision. Yes. Undril has low light. Good enough. Thing. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, oh, so no. Bob, I think once we get over here, uh, we'll probably be within range of your song. Uh, flex. And, uh, I would like to try to like not be very like loud going in, like be somewhat yeah. stealthy. Right. I would also like to avoid in. notice. Yeah, well, that's the one. As everyone is encroaching on the position, whoever wants to make stealth checks, go ahead and roll me stealth. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe, yeah. Ooh, I'm a coin that. Oh, who had the the extra coin from last game? I do. Kelly. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, because he had like that awesome crit. He lined it up. Double crits, baby. <laughs> crit failed and crit. Um, I take that for my initiative. <laughs> all right, all right. I gotta find my. Everyone's looking pretty good on stealth so far. All right, Zig. Remember, sniping duo. Yes. Point out whichever one you're shooting at. Bob well, keeping just, the lights kind of back to himself to, you know, avoid notice. Yeah. Not to yeah, highlight uh, you guys. Uh, as plan you guys to Bob, become... we're going to need a light in there, or at least I'm going to and Undrill for us to see them. So you might have to spend an action doing that or whatever um, it is. But is my guys, shield glowing? It is not. Okay. And as Thank you guys you. encroach, you can hear and smell that the giants are indeed still in the spot. And let's go ahead and get everyone to roll initiative. Before that, okay. uh, I will do a... Uh, because I can't see everyone, I will do what sounds like a whistle. Everybody gets plus one to your initiative because of scouts warning. Okay. Interesting. Yes. So uh, if any of you have that, I told you to put a plus two modifier on your initiative uh, from last time, change that to a plus one because I'm just going to do that every single time we enter combat. If I was using this. Yeah. I have no idea what, what kind of modifier is. This, is that? this is a circumstance. <clears throat> circumstance. Let me look at 10 paces real quick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we entered a church. Okay. <laughs> so circumstance bonuses don't stack, correct? No. Correct. Okay, well, my is a circumstance, which is already a plus two, so I do not get the plus one. Yep, okay. Uh, and so Perfect. that goes up. Mine's already calculated in, because I'm going to do that every time anyways. Uh, Andrew, where are you? Hello. Initiative 25. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Get yeah, fuck losers. You go slow. All right. Tension mounts as you guys begin to creep into your battle plans and battle positions to ambush these wily giants. And... The first of the quickest reactions is a Nadi. I will delay my turn until Bob throws a light in there, because otherwise, I uh, these creatures are hidden to me, right. which a Nadi sucks. delays. Zig, <clears throat> you are next to act. You hear a Nadi give the signal whistle. All right, uh, Zig will move the distance. All right. I'll put it on you, bro. <laughs> All right. I'll step there, and then I will uh, take a swing. All righty. 35 <laughs> is a hit and is a crit. Oh, All Jesus right. Christ. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been me. That's fighters, man. 
All yeah, right, he goes really swinging in. Too. It's so good. All right, not paying attention. You see it with like something dangling out of its mouth, like it's in the middle of a meal, and you just come up and whack the shit out of like its knee, causing it to howl out in pain, surprising all, right. all of the giants. All right, then I will attempt a second swing. That Ooh. will be a miss. Okay. Next it goes to Bob. Okay, so let's get this that action light. music. Doesn't feel very action. <laughs> it's it's Kevin McCloud. He's trying. The first, the first couple notes were like holy shit, and now it's like ooh, what's going on? It feels like uh, Hyrule Castle music. <laughs> feels like RuneScape music. Go that too. To, uh, it's a good one. Just go back to this Try classic. Having. But uh, Bob, Bobby boy. The dogs of war. Uh, let's get those lights in there so people can see. All right. You move the dancing lights into the deeper pit part of the uh, little cave pit or whatever, fully revealing the giants and all the goods that they have stolen. And they even limit you on that. Okay. And now I will also cast Inspire Courage. And then with my ability to harmonize, I'll also cast Song of Strength. Alrighty. Is Inspire Courage a circumstance bonus? It's a uh, status. Status? Okay. So they do stack. Good. That means I get a plus three to hit with Zig. Alright. So Bob whirls his balls of light into the room and then begins to <laughs> triumphantly flex in the glistening light buffing all his allies. Anadi. <clears throat> all right. Uh, I can now see, so I will hunt prey the one... Uh, well, first, I'll call out in giant. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, but this is just business. And I will hunt prey this one to get its attention and uh, fire at it. All righty. So, boom. Did I... I hit the button. Oh wow! Twenty one. God damn! Is a miss Who, um, as you. Yeah, I uh, used my hero out. point already. On a stump you, check. And you yeah. take <laughs> off the cave wall behind it. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck! I say as I look at him, and he probably looks back at me. Ah, right, I'm the one who talked with you last time. Sorry. <laughs> it <laughs> sneers. It sneers Don't and begins to help. drool as it looks at you. Oh, I'm 100 percent admitting guilt. I'm a naughty. Undrol. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize how far un back Undra was. Oops. That should be fine nonetheless. She will move here, and she will... Uh, why do I always forget the word? Uh, forbidding ward on Zig and this cave giant. So you have plus one AC and saving throws against that giant. <clears throat> the okay. one right in front of you. That is her turn. Next, it goes to these boys. And uh, we'll start <laughs> with the one that Zig hit. So it will turn around snarling at you. And from by its side, you see a, it picks up an axe bigger than your whole body and goes Ooh. to swing it down on you. Oh. A 31 to oh. hit. I doing this. All right, that'll hit. <laughs> All righty. Nice. <laughs> nice shot. Nice cock. I mean, shot. All right. It bops you. <laughs> for 21 points of slashing damage. Nice. It will, obviously, continue to do so. Attempt to do so, at least. With a 19 to hit. That'll miss. And then Wait, did one... Pick up the axe? Oh, that's flavorful. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Another 19. That will also miss. Alrighty. This one will come I... charging right to Anadi. <laughs> Uh-oh. And... Like the climb up? Holy shit. Yeah, it does not. Uh, tall enough. It it's, definitely yeah, it's... is. And it will swing out with a 39 to hit. That's a crit. <laughs> All right. 
So this thing comes barreling towards you and throws its mighty paw out and just gives you the King Kong treatment as it just picks you up. <laughs> oh, it picks me up. It doesn't punch me? Nope. I'd rather punch me. I know you would. <laughs> but now it has okay. you grappled. Where's the little... There we go. Little this King one? Kong hands. Yeah. It has you grappled, mm-hmm. and now... Me when I get you... There we go. It will attempt to you. take a bite at you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, Matt Unfortunately, at 19, goodness. these dudes love to get 19s. Good. All right. So it goes to bite you, but you manage to wiggle just enough to put up some restraint. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. This one being... I'm not hurt yet, so I'm fine. He almost seemed like he was sort of like piddling in the gold, but he will then grab a big handful of it and just hurl it at Zig. <laughs> Shotgun blast. Grape shot. Mm-hmm. With a 26 to hit. That misses. Oh, wow. So then he will step forward and attempt to swing on you. With a, 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 a crit. <laughs> I... Woo. Hold on. Let let me do some investigating. Uh, is there a way to to reduce that crit? No. Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. Do you have? Do you, you actually can. have something to reduce a crit? No. I I was looking at what hero points can do. Uh, can you can you raise your shield reactively to increase your AC? It only goes to twenty nine, which would be oh, a thirty. It's, it's not a natural twenty anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. It's... If you could raise it to thirty six, I think it would reduce it, right, BB? Uh, yeah, if he could somehow raise his it all the way to 36. Yeah. <laughs> I but need to enchant my shield. This, <laughs> this giant smacks you for a staggering 32 points of slashing damage, and he knocks you so hard that you end up getting knocked prone from the force. Okay. But uh, that's all of them. Question. Yes. I'm assuming the bite is not a 10 foot range, so would he have pulled me closer? Uh, technically. But I mean, okay, yeah, I, I can live with that. I don't mind. I'm just trying to make Technically, it he would bring you to his mouth to bite, but I mean, it's still a melee attack, so he still has reach. But. Oh, don't go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just be here. I don't mind. <laughs> All right. As he dropped uh, you. <laughs> Dogren saw Zig got walloped, but he's got two on him. So he will ring out with a guts and glory as he goes into a rage. Uh, uh, as he lets out a mighty croak that bellows and echoes through the chasm. And then he is going to race between these guys. Tiny little dude. He's only like two foot four. They probably don't even notice him. Like a little flea hopping back and forth. Yep. Uh, and he is sudden charging all the way back here. Which, speaking of, if these dudes had fleas, like, if they just shook and let off a <laughs> giant flea swarm. <laughs> There's, there is, it was first edition, but in the Giant Slayer Adventure Path, there was a giant flea, like, affliction you could get. Oh, that's dope. Oh. <laughs> so, it's horrible, but yeah. Um, all right, so in position, he sudden charges, so he strides twice, and then he swings out with Facebreaker. Uh, Zig landed a meaty blow against his side, and Dahlgren is just going to try to finish it off by snapping this guy's leg off at the knee. So here it goes. A 33 33, 34, 34, 34 um, against flat footed. Oh, well, then that's a crit. that would be a crit. Excellent. Nice. That's going to be 28 points of bludgeoning damage and another 16 points of acid damage. Is that 16? Yep. Uh, uh, you'd you'd get one more point of damage because of Bob. Oh, and another two points of bludgeoning damage because of Bob. All also, right. yes. because I am raging and I just crit with a flail weapon, he is knocked prone. Nice. Oh, wow. So Dogen might actually like break his leg driving this guy like down to a <laughs> knee or something. Yeah, you come running up and you see the fresh wound that Zig has made and you just knock just the shit out it. of it and send yep. him hurling over in pain. 
then we go to Callie. Hmm. Uh. Let's see. I got the sweater. Kill this one. <laughs> yeah, no fucking it, help. Yeah, no help them, bro. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, not hurt yet. We will use our ten paces free movement to go here. We will go into overdrive, maximum overdrive. That is a success. Mm -hmm. And then we will take a megaton strike at this cave giant. Plus three. Plus three yes. damage. No, uh, but plus, plus three, three to hit. hit. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Because of all his because different of bonuses. Me. 34. Yeah, That's... because of sniping duo and Bob. 34. That I is thought it was hit. extra damage to that. That is a crit. Damn, that's yeah, some no, shit-ass crit damage. I think sniping duo is its a bonus uh, on damage, not on your attack roll. It, uh, whenever you, whenever you, you or your spotter successfully strikes a target, the other member of your duo gains a plus one circumstance bonus per weapon damage die on the damage on the roll damage. of their next strike. Sure. If I'm it was on attacks, that'd be fucking very good, right? <laughs> like, we, the, we both know with that. The minus one, I think it's okay. still a crit. That is a 32 against a flat-footed AC. Ooh. Oh, so it's just plus... They had a plus three. No, that's no, not... No, the, plus three as well, but it is not. Oh, well then it will 32. just be a hit. Against flat-footed? Okay. Yep. But that is plus three damage uh, yep. from Bob and that. So it's 15 plus another D8. Four. Okay. Nice. So this is in total. Oh, and half your int, right? Yeah. Half my int plus two. So another four. So 12 plus one plus eight, 21 damage. 21. As you come running up. Yeah. And let out cacao thunder rings out as a bolt. Yeah, sorry guys, I can't crit. <laughs> Not everyone gets a crit. I think. Uh, that's right. Cries over it, here it, at a it, twenty. It then goes to Zig. <laughs> All right, uh, so I will stand up, mm -hmm. uh, take a swing on the one that's on the ground. All right. <laughs> Uh, it would be a 25. That will hit. All right. So. You get plus two damage from Callie. Yep. Another, and another plus one from Bob. Bob. All right. So what? Uh, 17 uh, for 20. 20 damage. Nice. 20 damage total. Yes. All right. Oh, my God. There's a sliver left. Oh, my fucking. It's a magic pixel, bro. He's still As alive. he's on the ground, you stand up and just drive the axe right into his face. But you can still. He's still fighting it. What a dick. <laughs> All right. Dolgrid is going um, position. Being inappropriate with the Giants. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess. It's larger I than will... I am. <laughs> I. Okay. Quick question. Right. Yes. Because I, a Titan Wrestler, am I able to move this guy around? Uh, if you can shove him. If that's what... Well, he's already, I... he's already prone. Well, I, I, I had the idea that if I just grab him and throw him into the one behind us, would that do damage to him and kill him? So <laughs> grabbing would be an action, and you could shove him, but you cannot throw him. Okay. And can I just, like, stomp on him to kill him? You can make an attack. <laughs> you can hit him. Yeah. Okay. Him. With an unarmed right. strike. Do a, do a quick unarmed attack roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, 20, 22, 22 flat footed. Unfortunately, yeah. it is a miss. Damn, you go right. and kick him in the that. face. I mean, like, how dare you try to be 25? Cool. It then goes to right. Bob. Wait, does does it have one more action? It's got one more action. No, I, I stood, you stood up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. You were prone. Also, well, I mean, I guess the good news reason... is when this guy stands, he'll get an AOO. Yeah, for for some reason my green health bar isn't changing when I change my. Health. I see it changed. Uh, it's, it's it's changing it's changed for, me. for us. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So for me, it's still saying one ten. Yeah. Sometimes it glitches. Mm. Okay. Weird. Glitches a lot okay. when you're on a scenes change for sure. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, good. Uh, I guess I'll just keep focusing on all the spells I have up. Alrighty. So you just spend your whole time, your whole turn. Uh, Re-upping for all three actions. Yep. 
All right. Spinning like dengue. A naughty. You are currently. Thank you for the light bulb. You're currently getting the King Kong treatment. What do you do? Uh huh. <laughs> you can't. You can't escape grapples with acrobatics, can you? You can. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try. It's that. acrobatics, athletics, or unarmed attack rolls. Eh. Thirty-three. And this is against his athletics DC. Athletics DC. Actually beats. And that is a success. You managed to good. <laughs> good. to worm your way out of uh, out of his big old monkey grip. Now I'm going to ask the DM because mm-hmm. I don't I don't remember too well. So, Can you grapple on an attack of opportunity? <laughs> if you make it, if you want your attack of opportunity to be a grapple. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to risk it. I don't want to be this well, guy. Oh. A naughty might have seen he might not have just because he was in like this thing's clutches but he might have seen like Dahlgren like run in between them so he might not mm. be worried about an AOO well I'm just worried about the cave giant AOO and me if I try and run away it's gonna grab me again I Only if you have something out. I don't know about it that Anadi does not remember neither do I so I'm gonna move over here with an action all right, you run away bravely. Are they garbage? I mean, yeah, it does chase. It does act like it's going to chase after you, but you're oh, just okay. a little, a little quicker there. Ah, click, click, bang. <laughs> uh, Thirty. You 31. snap back and fire with a successful hit. Ten points of damage. I accidentally rolled twice. <clears throat> Boom. As you like, catch it right into a meaty part of its chest. Yeah. And then, Undrol. Uh, you know, Zig is getting. Uh, yeah, sorry, plus one to that as well. <clears throat> uh, Forbidding Ward. Uh, she will sustain that with one action, and then she will use two actions to heal Zig. Yay. We can take heal it. 27. Fireball. <laughs> just that fireball. I wish she was one level higher. She's only level four. Jesus, Clark of Saren, I've ever seen. <laughs> you bet, I agree. <laughs> Andrew's a trooper. Listen, I asked the M, you know, if she can go above the elite, and he said no, and I was like, okay. <laughs> but if I vouched all, for you, Andrew. If that's all mm. of her actions, it goes to these yes. guys. Uh, this dude, whoops. To be fair, he will stand up as his first action. All right, attack of opportunity. Smith, 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 Smith. I did. <gasps> oh, 27. It was and quite low, and I was like, oh. As you swing out and just <laughs> bam, and him. knock him back to the ground as he tries to get up. And I still have a reaction left. <laughs> oh? Did you get yeah. a combat reflexes? Uh, so I have two reactive shields now. Which I, I believe that just turns into I have two different uh, reactions, correct? You took reactive it... shield twice? No, uh, it was. Let me find the feat. Unless you have something that says you can do multiple reactions, you it, only well, get one well, it's reaction per turn, per round. Uh, it's called quick shield block. So ah. at the start of each of my turns, I gain an additional reaction I could use to shield block. Yes, you that is correct. Raise shield. You can still yes. yeah shield block that. Yeah, you just can't um, use it for another attack of opportunity, w- w- yeah. w- which is fine. So we go to this guy, and this hungry little piggy is going to spin an action <laughs> climbing up, and yeah, then that makes oh, no. sense. An action scampering after you. <laughs> All right. And then an action. <laughs> Bop me in the nose, bro. Out. Yep. Kill me. Thirty-one to hit. Yep. <laughs> and uh, being yeah, that you're a, too, a little too lively, he's going to try to. It's gonna try to tenderize you a little bit. That's yeah, fine. He gets a piddly 14 damage and he just punches you in the wall. Yeah, piddly. I'm made out of paper. He, <laughs> he, got, he rolled a two on his damage die. That's almost minimum damage for him. Cries. Uh, this one. I'll however, be fine, guys. You guys take care of your things. Is, uh, is a little pissed that someone just killed his uh, companion, but is relieved because now he has more food but he's going to mm. swing out on Zig to get even more food for the 22. I don't miss. All right. He will 
attempt to swing out again with a 27. Uh, I will use my last reaction to shield block. My AC becomes 29. All right. Are you shield blocking or raise shielding? Because those are two it's, different things. And it's, you always it's, say uh, shield block. <laughs> sorry, it's a raise shield. Okay, as I'm always so confused. One of those raises AC, one of them takes damage for you. Yes. Yeah, the, <laughs> sorry, the, the shield block blocks for other people. The raise shield pr- raises my AC. All right. I, I keep getting the name switched. Getting kind of pissed that he can't hit you. He's going to try to swing out a third time and gets a, a whopping 12. As this thing is just hammering his giant axe into the dirt. That's a critical fail, isn't it? It's got to be nice. Yeah, two. Okay. But it goes to Dahlgren. Uh, Dahlgren is sort of like torn. Uh, Good. (laughs) Well, he's going to say because he knows Callie and Zig are going to focus on this because they're going to target the same thing. Oh, no, 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 no. I've 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 got the giant. We're good. Okay. I'll be fine. Uh, If you guys say you're good, then Dahlgren will step and he will do a knockdown. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So he will start with Facebreaker. Ooh, going to spend my hero point on that. That's a three on the die. That is a 29. 29. All right. So he is going to take 16 bludgeoning and another 8 acid for a total of 24 damage. Then. All right. Then Dahlgren is going to try to trip him. And Dahlgren is raging, so there's a few things uh, I want to bring. So, uh, you know, I do still have a brutal bully. All right. Uh, but Dahlgren is descending into more of a bully because he also has furious bully. All right. And God damn. So he gets. Cool. Plus one from my composition spell. Ah, uh, yeah, because that's a status bonus. Mm-hmm. So a plus three nice. to this athletics <laughs> check. Yeah. And plus this goes three. against yep. his reflex. Reflex DC. Okay. So I don't have the plus three factored in. I'm just going to roll 28. You made it without the bonus. Damn. All right. So he Boom. is prone and he takes four more bludgeoning damage. All righty. As you come up and knock the king off the castle. And that is his turn. A thunderous... Yeah, Dolgren... Yeah, just comes up and, like, (laughs) he swings at his ankles because they're right, like, sort of eye level with him. (laughs) Always the weak spot. Callie. Is there any single action I can take to, like, try to distract this from Anati? I'm totally you can fine, attempt <laughs> a distraction. Okay, how do I? What check do I have to do for that? Uh, Deception is create a distraction. Yep. There you go. Okay. Could also maybe intimidate. Deception's much better than intimidation for me. Try to dis- distract him away from a natty, so he's looking right at me. We good? Uh, one moment. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. I did. 28. It's a 28. 28, all right. Let's see. Gets his perception DC. All right, that is a success. Let's see. Very you become cool. hidden to each creature whose perception DC is equal to your result. This lasts until your turn. So, okay, so a naughty, I guess, will become quote unquote hidden until Ooh. your next turn as as the cave giant um comes to like look towards me i aim sammy at him and he turns into a railgun <laughs> a what <laughs> uh i'm going to add the unstable feature to this so let me roll that flat d20 oh, that's does, almost he does some inspector gadget shenanigans yeah no sammy fires a a bolt of electric power uh, that results in 4d12 uh, what kind of damage is it? Oh god. Uh, electric damage. Electricity damage. Against his basic reflex save. So he has to make a reflex save. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, it's just a lightning bolt. <clears throat> Which is pretty neat. Yeah. 
these guys are big. I can't imagine they're very right. reflex. It's not, but he gets a 23. Uh, how do I check? It goes off of your class DC. Okay, that is a failure. All right. So he's going to take 4d12 damage, electric All damage. Right. Nice. Sammy's like, I'm feeling charged up as he shoots out a giant, like, railgun beam and just blasts right through this thing. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's pretty good. (laughs) That's my turn. All right. Zig. All right. Uh, I'll head over here. That way I'm flaking with Dolgren. Right. And I will take a swing on the Mr. Giant Boy. All right. Uh, it'd be a 23. That Against will flat-footed. just hit. All right. So because I've already hit something this turn, uh, the damage goes up by two. So it would be for a total of 21 because of Bob and the forceful trait. All right come running around and just slap this dude with your axe. What's that? A howl right. of pain. All right. And then I will attempt a second. Oof, that will be a failure, though. Yes. Swing and a miss as you just he rolls a little out of the way. And you just hear the clangle of gold coins as they go splashing everywhere. Bob, it's back to you. Uh... You now can see a giant lumbering up on the stage up here with you. Okay. Well, that's not great. Uh, shit, I should probably keep the lights up, huh? Uh, Undral and I need it. Or you you could let the lights go out (laughs) and make a grand exit. (laughs) Show's over, folks. (laughs) Curtain ball. That'd be great for me. (laughs) So much for everybody else. Alright, so, um, I will keep uh, focus up on the lights and yeah uh, I will uh, I won't do the focus on the cantrips I'll let that go out and then I will recast inspire courage and use focus points for lingering composition alrighty so go ahead and give a performance check, I think. That's good. All right. So I'll be able to help you next turn. <laughs> a naughty. The All right. The giant is uh, currently distracted. It's not paying attention good. to you. But uh, you do think that if you were to, say, shoot it again, it will remember that you're there. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, take advantage of this. Uh, Zach, is there an extra spot here? If uh, there is, then I'm just gonna. Yeah, there's, there's a little, little extra divots. Uh, if you can sneak away, because uh, Cali Soul made you hidden, it's flat-footed to your next attack. Uh, I want to use my actions for another thing. <clears throat> oh, well, I mean, it'd be I, the same. It'd be the same action as moving. Oh, it is. I will. You a sneak sneaking? Thing. Yeah, sneaking is. How fast yeah. are you? Uh, I can move. I could. I can do thirty. I could do twenty feet. I have thirty-five feet movement. I think. Okay, then yeah. If you want to sneak there, just as yeah. an option, not trying to run your <laughs> no, 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 that, no, no, that's perfectly fine. I didn't know you could. I thought you had to hide then sneak. Well, you're you're that's... already hidden because of Cali creating a distraction. You're right. You are a god. I am. <laughs> I think I sneak, <laughs> and I end up doing the same thing anyways. You're unsure uh, as you scamper <laughs> away, Scooby Doo style. Yeah, and I can't let the people know that I've been hurt in combat, so I'm going to pull out that vial with a heart, and I'm going to drink that, and I'm going to send you some messages, Zach. Okay, so you drink the mystery potion. Yep. And then it goes to Undril. Our fearless leader. He's taken one point of damage. <laughs> yeah, basically. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. Oop. Yeah, it is Undril Tower. But Blue is sending me something real quick, so Udra will have her turn. Oh, yes. <clears throat> so her turn, she will move out here. Uh, she will forbidding ward uh, Zig to the cave giant again. I was going to do Dolgren, but Zig's the one who's getting beaten to shit. 
Yeah, I still have my temp HP. Yeah. <laughs> Our I fearless am... leader got hurt, but fuck you. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be hurt. I have to be a symbol. <laughs> a symbol. A symbol for the people of Gotham. He exactly. dies of embarrassment. <laughs> Cries. <laughs> dies of embarrassment. <laughs> dies of cringe. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, oh, no, bros. Yeah. <laughs> God, oh, man, every time you guys do that voice, it makes me want to watch a regular show. It's a good show. Ooh, you know who else wants to watch that show? My, My mom! mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else wants to play Pathfinder? <laughs> My mom! Anyways. Uh, yeah. Huh. Uh, so yes, that's Andrew's turn, so, uh... The Cave Giants. Yeah. Yep, yep. I was just editing something. But the cave giant's turn. Oh, we'll start with guy up here. He'll take a step forward. But he doesn't like getting shot. So he's going to try to reach out. Um, actually, he didn't get shot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did. He got shocked. It was a shotgun. It was not yeah, a tackle. a shotgun. He didn't use a bullet. <laughs> well, from his perspective, he got shot, so he's gonna punch. Punch. Maybe he should be pushy about it. Uh, meets beats, right? Yep. Yeah. yep. Never mind. My AC is 26. Ooh. Because leveled up. Mm, that's true. <laughs> ah ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. He doesn't like that. Punches out again for 26. <laughs> Uh, ooh, uh, he, was, ooh. he was measuring your AC. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he, um, Watch him in the nose. See how he likes it. Whoopsies. Oh. Ignore Infinite that. damage. Code break. <laughs> ooh, max for 20 points of damage bludgeoning as he just punches you with his <laughs> other hand as you throw to dodge his first punch. And then this you guy... punch like a baby giant. <laughs> <laughs> For his first action, he's going to right himself so he can see who he's dealing with. Attack of opportunity, Zig. Yes, attack of opportunity. Uh, yes! 29. 29 will hit. All right. Uh, For 20 points of damn blamblage. All right, damn yep. blamblage. Right to his ankles. Uh... He is not liking this, so he's going to swing out on you. With Thirty-one to hit. Uh, okay, so with the between nah, his legs, you see Dahlgren flash you a thumbs up for continuing to earn the ire of these monsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that'll hit for eighteen points of slashing. All right, but Ward does nothing. <laughs> She's gonna fire the ray this time. Yeah, well, it's, oh, it's always yeah. it's always just one above on what eight on what I can block. He, uh, that'll miss. He swings at you two times, only landing the first blow, but then it goes to Dolgren. All right, Dolgren uh, has a flank going on here, yeah. so he is it's gonna go it. ahead. I'm trying to keep it hidden. Uh. <laughs> Do you know what he wants to do? He Not wants to bust it. out a new move that he picked up. He um, begins so to do the running man. He <laughs> is he is whirling a face breaker overhead, and you see it gathering momentum uh, before he slams it down with a power attack for two actions. Ooh. Uh, 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 do you have any hero points? I spent my mine. I I will give you my hero point. If Zach will allow it, I will. An extra one. Yeah, I've got the extra. You can have mine. All right, then I will take it. Cool. It's a good damage, though. Zach, if if this attack hits, I'd like to keep this damage. <laughs> sure, <laughs> fine. Because hey, the only thing we're GM. actually rerolling is the d20. All right, that Ooh. is a 25 against his flat-footed AC because of the flank. That is a hit. 
Nice. All right. Uh, 36 points of damage total. All righty. As you helicopter and bring this thing down, just bam, catching him right at that spot where, like, his spine beats his butt. It's sending a shockwave of pain all throughout his body. All right. But he is still Uh, standing. The last thing Dahlgren will do is he will, uh, just shout, Come on, you're going to let a pick sweep like me bring you down! And do an intimidation check against uh, this giant. Alrighty. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> uh, he has absolutely no investment in intimidation. <laughs> he does that thing like a cat and just you know, kicks back and just covers you in a wave of gold. Get out of my face. <laughs> Callie. Okay, that's fucking action, amazing, Dilgren. One action reload, second action Megaton Strike. Alrighty. Well, Pam. That Ooh, is a 35? Oh. oh, 35? That is a crit. Oh, yeah. baby. Alright, that means oh, I get. Baby, a crit. Yup, I get. <laughs> I get what? one d12 <laughs> that is doubled in eight, and I get a d12 that isn't doubled. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, 14 plus... And your overdrive's doubled. Yep, my overdrive is doubled. So 14 plus 8 plus 16 plus 3 plus 2. Oh, God. 14 <laughs> plus... 34. One second. <laughs> 16 <laughs> plus 8 plus 3 plus 2. That is... 30, 40, 43, I think. What do you think? 14 plus 16 is 30, plus 8 is 38, plus 3 is 41, plus 2 is 43. 43 damage. Sure. I missed the 8. That sounds like good math to me. No take vexes. Yeah, no, that's the one. (laughs) 43 points of damage. It was actually 90 million damage. Send another shot right into this thing's chest as it just comes lumbering at you. Heck yeah. All right, that's my turn. All right. Zig. This giant is bleeding from many wounds. He's looking pretty hurt. Can you bring him down? I'm going to try Uh, a 30. A 30 (laughs) is a hit. 24 points of damage. Uh, 25 25 points of damage because Bob is a godsend. All right. Describe your kill. Uh, but it's going to be one point of HP again. All right. Uh, <laughs> it would have been uh, if Bob wasn't given the plus one. Damn. Bob MVP again. All right. All right. So I, I'm envisioning that this giant is on one knee from being berated by Dolgren. So <laughs> I, Zig is going to run up the the mountain of gold, jump up in the air, and bring his axe down. Uh putting uh trying to split it in two but getting like a good chunk of the way down all righty all right and then how how tall is this ledge it's about Uh, 10 feet if i recall correctly it's at least 10 feet all right i'm gonna start uh running over there and then that'll be my turn all right bob okay so, uh, keep focus on the light. Alrighty. I'll keep that up. And then go. There. 25 feet. About as far as I can go. As Bob that goes is. to challenge the giant to a flex off. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yep. I can actually use fascinating performance. Ooh. Oh? That's fascinating. Yo. What does it do? Okay. Perform. Yep. All right. Fascinated. So give me a you performance must, check. You must critically succeed to fascinate it if you are in combat. Which yep. we are. I believe you. No. <laughs> I believe you. I, believe in, I meant to believe in you. Oh, no. no. you got a, you have a hero I'm, point. Yeah, I'm going to probably roll that one. So, yeah, might as well. So try yep. that one again. Four. I mean, you could do way better. That's Thirty- good. That'd we like that. Wow. Thirty-three versus its will DC. 
and that exactly is a crit. Oh, <laughs> no. All right, so this thing is fascinated by you. It is mesmerized, enchanted, fatuated as you come saunt <laughs> everything. <laughs> as you come saucing around the what is sashaying? It? Sashaying, we have Bob's doing the suavemente. Stalagmite, whatever. He's putting on a show <laughs> for this guy. And he can't take his eyes off of you. All right. Anadi. All right. From the darkness, I will hunt prey and fire. All right. 35. That's a crit, right? That is a crit hit. Uh, I guess technically 36. So D8 plus 2. So 20 damage doubled to 40 plus 14 damage for 54. And describe your kill. Uh, A naughty just from the darkness as Bob you sashay around the corner and you see this creature focuses his eyes on you you see as it stares at you and then there just appears another hole in between its eyes and Zig you see from behind as you're down there a uh, crossbow bolt sticking out of the back of his head <laughs> as he falls to the ground nice now with that, it seems that combat is over these weren't beasts That's were they no <laughs> <they're giants. laughs> oh Damn it. Can't shoot oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, late. Bob. Hey. Uh, Dahlgren uh, leaps atop the corpse of the one cave giant and flexes as he crows, Untouched! I am also <laughs> relatively untouched. I uh, see your wounds. Bob and I and Andrew. Hello, and are untouched. <laughs> untouched. And I also flex. <laughs> I shoot Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> she <Jesus> dies. <laughs> she she explodes. <laughs> she uh, instantly dies. You guys hear a slightly higher pitched Anadi as he comes around the corner, untouched. And uh, eyes. I saw a good crap. There's something <laughs> different about him. If Zach wants to describe it. <laughs> All right. So you guys hear a. <laughs> Slightly odd, but somehow familiar voice call out to you. As around the corner, you see someone dressed like a naughty, someone who kind of looks like a naughty, but their thorax is much more curvaceous. There is... It's definitely an odd sight, as you see, uh, effectively, because I spoiled myself on this, uh, watching the stream last time as an asshole. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't intentional at first, okay? I actually looked at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> and so I drew some art for it because I knew I was going to drink this shit anyways. Uh, there is a female Anadi coming around the corner and Anadi will look at you all and say, what's going on? You're looking at me like last time when I turned into a spider. As you guys well. see this as I post my new art that I made. <laughs> Now hold Which on. I worked very hard on it. Now hold on. Oh what yeah. What happened to your clothes? They they fit <laughs> barely. A naughty. What? He's What's going still, on? He's still wearing the vest. Yeah, I am actually. I drew everything uh, yeah, as correctly. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hey, uh, pal. Um, lo- look yes. down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so now I guess Amanda? No, what? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I'm still a naughty. I'm just. Uh, huh. I thought you found yourself or something, man. I don't know. No. <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, when you look at the book and you say, hey, can I have the first option? And then <laughs> the DM says, sure. Perhaps you shouldn't agree to it. Because <laughs> well, it was you- a. Select like the first option twice, I, or did somebody no, else I, roll a one? No, uh, no one else rolled a one. I just okay. asked for the first one because I was just like, "Hey, can I have this?" Because I'm gonna do that from now for loot items. And then I looked over the game, and I was just like, "Oh shit!" As I picked up a serum of sex shift, <laughs> and I thought it was a potion of healing because I had a heart on it. <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> huh? That is unfortunate. 
Yeah, and right. the only people who would understand this are Zig and Bob. Other than the height of Taban, the rest of the body proportions are roughly the same. <laughs> because the Serum of Sex Shift uh, goes to something that you effectively get to choose, and Anadi has that on the brain. <laughs> Always thinking about Taban. Hey, man. Gladiator strong muscle cue. <laughs> what can I say? I'm putting this in chat because I just can't pronounce it myself. Du hast dich in ein Madchen verwandelt. Delt. Delt. Idiot. That's an I. Actually, I think it is an L. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. This is, um, taps foot on ground. <laughs> Unexpected. I, I'm sure we could find somebody to turn you back if you wanted to. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to feel it out because I don't have a choice so far. Phrasing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shut up, sec. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys now have three giant corpses, a literal mound of gold, and Ding. some of the other shit they stole. All right. Start picking uh, up gold. I'll, oh, I'll, already I'll, did. I'll, I'll open up the bag of holding and I will and just start. Just all kinds of like machinery parts fall out. God damn it, Callie. <laughs> but That's they are all point. necessary. I don't think so. <laughs> Would you like to live longer? I'm making things that will let you live longer. Um, How much space? Base did the bits and bobbles Callie found take up in the bag? Like, that like depends on him. It. It's like it's like twenty, but no, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, how much bulk did we have left in the bag? All right. Well, well pretty available. much everything we have in the bag is a potion, so it's all like oh, very breakable things. So you guys yes. have a yeah, type well, one, which is twenty-five bulk. All right, and then what? A potion is point one bulk. Basically, what, it's... I would okay. say like twenty potions equals a bulk. It's like how much bulk is gold? Uh, a po uh, I'm looking that up right now. Which, by the way, DM, is there like a gold ingot in here that I can just take instead, <laughs> so I don't have to carry shit out of coin? I mean, yeah. Dope. I'm taking one. Because it's not just coins. It's like it's ingots. It's nuggets. It's bars it's all kinds of stuff taking as many coins as i it's, can get my it's own almost crap. like yeah it's ore it's almost like they just grab shit that was shiny and took how, it. how many <clears throat> uh lights make a bulk one our 10 lights make one bulk all right okay i need a calculator <laughs> so yeah well because like yeah, it's you, you can show as much uh, gold in in the bag as there is space left and then of course you have your own hands and pockets and of course you're also I mean, this is a mining city so you know there are uh, mining carts so there's a will there's a way you will eventually if you guys take all of this want to take all of it back to like the dwarvish people <coughs> you'll eventually do it but if there are stuff you want to keep for yourself, uh, then you can. You'll, you'll pretty much only be able to keep what you can carry. How much gold? How much, like in terms of coin, is there? Uh, that that is a very hard estimate. But you dictate that this pile probably has, whoops, several I just thousand roll, like, pieces. So of a number of die. For All right. That. Yeah. All right, yeah, we might so, want to set a number on this because otherwise we're just gonna take as much as we can. <laughs> we have <laughs> a roll total. for it. Of eight bulk in so in the bag. We can carry seventeen more bulk. Well, but if we empty everything else out of it, yes. Add <laughs> add five bulk to that for various bits and pieces of related crafting material. Thirteen right, said, bulk. Well, so wait, you said this had a max of twenty bulk. Twenty five. Yep. Right. Twenty five bulk. We can carry twelve more bulk. Okay. All right, so... Also, Anadi, you look very nice today. <laughs> I, sh shut up. <laughs> I, I flip him off. 
I don't, I'm All not right. supposed to uh, sit in a corner. I sit on this box and huff. <laughs> You if you smile more. Oh. I smile at him. Do you think she's mad? <laughs> it's at it's a little. It's very generous, but according to Pathfinder, two a thousand coins equals one bulk. Okay, so that's what which, I was going to tell you. you just, which I mean, probably limit. that that's <laughs> not at all realistic, but because coins are heavy as shit. But whatever, right. that's how the game says. Ooh. All right, Zach. Is there any? Is it all gold, or is it like platinum and like other forms of coin? It seems to be mostly gold. You okay. Think you're thinking there might be a gold mine as part of the city. All right. Well, we now currently have in the bag twelve thousand seventeen gold and fifty-two silver. We should probably return most of this to the people. Yeah. This is more gold than we could ever use. This could fund... Actually, hold on. If we take the totally fake story of Mansa Musa to heart, <laughs> we could crash the entire economy of multiple civilizations. Why would we? <laughs> yeah. That's a great cool. question. <laughs> For the shits and gays. Yeah, so that's kind of fucking weird. <laughs> Yes, why would Is there someone anything uh, aside gold from gold? Um, let's see. You guys are level eight. Um, I, I throw we just have a random sword in the bag. I'm going to throw that away and grab a thousand more gold. Okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah. What's the weight of the sword? <laughs> Uh, Probably one bulk. I would. I will say. Uh, oh, I always forget to give you guys magic shit. Um, what the fuck's each going of on? you. I... You don't have to do it right now, but each of you also finds one seventh level item. Ooh, it's abounding. <laughs> <laughs> of our, of our he, or of he your knew. choosing from a table. Yeah, of your choosing. Oh, Just random shit that the giants grabbed from someone. That they ate. I did not come all this way so just to buy specifically another seventh of level shit. or seventh level or lower. Uh, if there's something lower level that you really want, yeah, seventh level or lower. Cool. Thank you, DM. <laughs> but yeah, it's not necessarily you that finds it, but whoever's digging through the gold is like, "Hey, this isn't gold. It looks cool, though." Slippers of spider climbing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just keep that in mind. You have to do it right now. But unless you Already really done. want to. <laughs> this dog already had those boots on his brain. But, Couldn't uh, ask me to take it away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, you guys have dispatched a small pack of giants and retaking back their goods. Uh, presumably after you guys loot through everything that you want, you guys will begin to make the effort to bring the residual back to the Dwarvish people. Well, we could probably tell them, hey, it's here, it's clear from here to here. You know. Alright. Kind of just let them do it at their leisure. I mean, they need something to do. I'm sure they're... I'm sure, yes, they're cleaning out, but... They have a lot to do. They're gonna... Yeah, they they probably have a lot to think and process, and giving some them something to distract them as well will help. So, okay. a little bit of back and forth won't be that bad for them. But you guys killed the giants. Um, is there anything you guys, anything else you guys want to do while you're on this side of the cave system? Uh, is there anything we missed here? Uh, there is really an no. area over here that yes. we can check out if there's anything. It's could be nothing. It's a dugout. Yeah. yeah. Something yeah. went digging through the cave right there. Yeah. Mm. Makes sense. <clears throat> uh, I'll, um, I'll look at my item to take later, but I have some ideas. I, I mm. will also need to look. Um, yeah. Does anyone know if there's anything on these uh, giants that are useful? Uh, let me find out, because I did pretty good on, what was it, a society check last time for giants? Yes, a society check. I don't know why I keep doubling it. I'm just going to use this one. <clears throat> I remember when we had that issue, Zach. 
What's that? Uh, for one of the monster tests, the one PC kept uh, spawning on the field. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I think it's if you edit a token that you're that you're on the same map for with players who control it. I don't know why, but it, it gets the thing. Um. So with a thirty, what would you like to recall about Cave Giants? Um. Is there anything specific, like? Anadi's looking over the bodies as he's doing this, as per Zig's uh, ask. Is there anything on them that is worth looting? If there's nothing, then I'll just turn to him and say there's nothing. Um, each of them possesses what is, can be construed as hide armor and a great axe as items that you can use. Uh, they have really nothing else of any kind of actual value on their person. But, uh, with a side check, what would you like to uh, recall or remember about them? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I remember that these guys are assholes. I remember that they don't like dragons. I remember. Um, I don't. I don't really know. Or I guess I'll. I'll, I'll learn something about their abilities, and then I'll put it down in Volo's book. So. I don't know. Anything that's not in Volo's book, I'll put it down in there. All right. Um, it did seem to come up because they were more preoccupied with trying to eat you guys. But mm. Kate, you remember that cave giants do have the nasty habit of doing something called smearing. They <laughs> really, <laughs> they really enjoy because uh, they're kind of fucked up. They really enjoy when they grab someone, like a human or something, smaller that they can pick up. They like to rub them against a cave wall until the mush. That's... Oh, fuck. Was that why he was going to grab my ass? Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's called Schmear. It's a two-action attack. That's not great. If they have yeah. someone grabbed, they just start <laughs> rubbing them against something, and they take constant bludgeoning damage. Uh, not, all of Anadi's hair on his tarantula body are gonna st st stick up, and he's gonna. I'm gonna look over and say, "You don't want to know," and I'm gonna start writing it down in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Cave so, giants wipe their ass with. Oh, <laughs> I was um, hoping that wasn't gonna be the case. One of the seventh level items is a bag pack of folding type two. <laughs> <laughs> don't. This money that's... doesn't belong to us. No, I, 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 I know. Though uh, I did see that there are um, gloves of storing, which I feel like would be cool for somebody that's to grab. What I was just looking at this isn't really it cool. used for for casters, which we don't have. No, uh, it, it's an item. It could be really used for anyone. Oh, I didn't know that. <clears throat> I thought you had to use magic to put something I could, in. I could, I could do, you know, magician's hands and shit, and it's like, oh, there's nothing in my hands, now there's a gun, uh-oh, pam. Oh, I, that's I, the shit that Edward has. Sorry, you don't know. <laughs> I mean, yep. they are magic. Oh, it's, they uh, are doing magic. It's yeah. a free action to draw something stored in the gloves into your hand. As long as it weighs uh, one bulk. Yeah. The cool option for, uh, Warriors or martial characters that, if you want to worry about uh, having them actually draw their weapons. Nice. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the giants are dead. They're starting to stink up the place a little bit. Uh, what is your next course of uh, actions? Well, well, return some of this gold to the dwarves. Alrighty. And then I think we're ready to head out from there. Yeah. I suppose, you know, Dolgren, is this, because yeah, it's fair to ask you specifically, is this yes. too much that ah. we're taking? From, oh, I, oh, Sorry, yeah, forces I, beyond my control moved <laughs> me. Oh, well, I, I try and look past and past my chest, so I have to lean forward. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. Um, is this too much gold that we're taking from your family? I... Were we taking this? I thought we were bringing it back to the dwarves. Well, I feel like some people here are going to want to keep the, what was it, 8,000 gold? <laughs> How much bulk uh, did we take? Uh, 
Okay, so oh, the party has 13,017 oh, gold. Yeah, Zig it's... personally grabbed 2,000. <laughs> So that, that is so a good So 1,500 portion. so far. <laughs> we'll say that's probably about half the pile. <laughs> is is, is that, that okay? Too much, Stalker. Stalker's down to just ask, and he's very yeah, open about fair. the numbers. Yeah, he yeah. understands that they need to rebuild and everything. Um, but, like, with the amount of money they have left, like, with their diminished numbers, they're all rich. Enough. <clears throat> I'm just, you know, they'll probably need as much money as they can so that they can rebuild. Yes, <laughs> I, I'm more so of the mindset that we need to get ready for what we're yeah. going to face because it's just going to get harder. Well, that's, I mean, I'm, that's fair, that's fair. I just think, like, getting to a place where we can actually buy stuff that's useful, I'm, I'm just not sure how much it's, of that there is left we can do. I I, mean, this... I don't I don't feel like we can make the trek all the way back to Port Nanzaru at this point. Well, as that well, said, I'm, this... we're going to Shilku. Well, this is Shilku is also a city, but this is a city. So somewhere within these halls, there are stores and mercantile quarters and such. So if you wanted to <laughs> trade them back their own gold for supplies, that's fucked up. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Well, I, I was kind of baking on, on the idea that the Anadi city, because the way it was talked about, yeah. they're like super advanced, that we might be able to get like some decent stuff there. Or All at right. least be able to, to get a charter back to the port and back. That way we could get geared up there. Because by sure. boat, it, w it won't take that long. The world is your oyster. Shuck it how you want. Yeah, no, I feel like we're probably going to use this money at the Anadi city, and if the dwarves here require an escort while we leave, we bring them to the Anadi city, because they have the directions and the guides that they said, and let them spend the money as they please, and we do our business. Buy items, and then hopefully maybe I can find my dad. Which, um... I well, don't recognize know you now that you're a woman. I don't think he knew ah. I ex <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> I had Dahlgren died. No, it's it's not no. you. It's the giant Dahlgren. It's fire stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, no, I don't think he knows I exist. So I don't so think my predicament changes. <laughs> yeah. I'll find him, kick his ass, ask him why he never visited, and then tell them, you know, hi, nice to meet you for the first time. Hi, I'm your son. Technically, yeah. <laughs> my name is Sue. How do you, you do? do. Now you're gonna die. <laughs> I look at the I look oh, at Dolgar and the, the the weird person speaking. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, no, you don't um, know that song. I actually don't know. You'll have to no, send it to me. I'll, I'll Johnny Cash. It. Oh, I, I I must have heard it then. I just don't remember. It's literally <clears> called <throat> a boy named Sue. It's good one. I didn't know. All right, yeah, I'll listen to it later. But uh, yeah, I don't think my situation helps. That anyways, uh, Thimblim. Uh, we have a yes. bunch of your, um, what well, we found, the gold, and we're just curious, oh, you, you found know. the dragon's gold? No. Well, I have I feel like the dragon's gold probably belonged to your people. You well, know what I mean? I, I would assume so. I don't think she came hauling gold here. Yeah. I mean, she might have brought a you know, couple, couple things, but, like, I mean, how about you send some people, go down this location, and... You let us know if it, we we took a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you, but like we left half, which is still a fuck ton. He goes, is it is it safe? I mean, it, it's in a cave. We, we've killed everything from literally all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Benblum, okay. I swear upon our friendship that it is safe. You yes. need not worry. He goes, okay. He, he rounds up some of the more able-bodied individuals and they go to investigate the site. Seconds later, we hear screams of pain. <laughs> a, a cave collapsed. Oh, God! <laughs> but, One of but, those stones that was going to kill Dolgren kills them and we regret <laughs> it. <laughs> but yeah, sometime later, they come back with like each of them pushing like mine carts 
just hauled up with all kinds of gold bits. Some, one of them with like the barrels and boxes that you guys didn't go through. But uh, yeah. Well, look, we're all they are all doing that. Is there anything else you guys would like to do or ask about or accomplish during your uh, seemingly short stay here? I think Dogren, if the rest of the party is good to go, Dogren is ready to head out. And so the last thing he will do um, is that he will say goodbye to his kith and kin. Um, he'll say farewell to his mother and promise, you know, that he will be back. All and the other dwarves, you know, they, they hug, shake hands, pat you on the back. Your mom gives you a very long hug. And she does give the sentiment that, you know, she would like you to stay. Uh, given everything that's going on, but she understands that you have to leave and go uh, help save the world from other distresses like this. Yes, there is more undead above that must be put to rest. And as you guys are packing everything up, uh, saying all your farewells, maybe having one final meal as a very large, weird family, they send you, uh, they take you to a minecart, a specific minecart mm-hmm. trolley, and they say, if you are wanting to get the Shilku, this will take your day's journey and cut a couple days off of it. And they sit, and they let you take one of these, um, it's not a minecart, but it's one of those things that can, like, push and pull minecarts. It's like a big platform with, like, a big a saw arc. crank. Yeah. Yeah, one of those things. I can't remember what it's called. But they let you take one of those. Uh, And as you guys load up and begin to, you know, crank it away, echoing down into the deep, uh, you can see the solemn fading light behind you start to get boarded up as they begin to, you know, re-fortify the city. But... After uh, many, many hours... Of, they are sometimes called Velocipedes. Velo- oh, like the Pokemon? That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But after The actual many... term is handcar. Sorry. Okay, just a handcar then. After many, many hours of cranking away, you guys can feel the winds whipping by. And you guys, at the end of your journey, find yourself coming to the mouth of a cave. And it is a total of three days that you guys have cut off your journey. Whew. Yeah, that's, that's nice. not bad. That's fucking good. Uh, one final thing. Or, I'm wait, assuming we're leaving. Like four days. Yeah, I'm assuming we're leaving Andril here. Yes. Like this is the part where we leave, right? She, she guys? said that she was staying here to help these people. Yeah. So we get some. We get a fire. Oh, we get a breastplate with, I believe, the. Energy resist resilient. I can't remember what it's fucking. Uh, resistance five to fire. Yeah. Well, I know I know what it does, but uh, there's a type of rune that specifically is it, so that you know. Fire resistant. Yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think it's energy resistant rune. That's what it is. So energy resistant brackets fire, which is a breastplate. So probably whoever can wear medium armor, because I believe breastplate is medium armor in this. <clears throat> yep. Uh, that uh, that would then, be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you would like it, yeah. I, I, have, I, unless you want it, Dolgren, it, I'm I'm fine with whatever. Dolgren have, has uh, faced the fire and emerged unscathed, <laughs> better than before. He's fine okay. with you having it. Aww. Uh And afterwards, we also have the staff, which I think only Shashik can use because he's the only caster in our party. Because he's the only one that can cast a first level spell which you need to use to recharge the staff, right? Mm-hmm. Uh Every day when you prepare a staff, it gains a number of charges equal to the highest level spell that you can cast. So... I guess technically, Zig, you can cast, but I don't think you could, or you'd want to use the staff. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'd i be too busy yeah. in, in combat I think, to use the I staff. I think to prepare a but... staff, I don't think he could. I need to read up on it. But yeah. I think to recharge a staff, you have to have the ability to both cast a spell action and have spell slots. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes yeah. sense. So 
None of us no. have spell slots, I, except for I think Shawshik. Um, yeah, oh, I, I keep freaking forgetting. <laughs> I keep freaking, every single time. You also I look at you. said. I think you also said we have no casters earlier. I did. One hundred percent. I just. I completely forgot. Bards can use spells because the last combat just today he didn't use any spells. He just fucking buffed. He <laughs> was like, spell. You know, but nobody this party. I didn't see it. All, all those buffs were spells, though. Oh well, whatever. Yeah. It's fire and I, 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 Nadia, yeah, Anadi apologizes and he hands the staff to Bob because he's the only one that could use it. You're a wizard. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> why'd you never uh, tell me? <laughs> DM. Yeah. I'd like, if this is possible, rather than getting the loot from the dragon's horde, there's an item that I found that could be possibly given to us from Undral as a parting gift that Anadi will take. It is called sure. the Dawn Light. The, specifically the Dawnlight Greater. Okay. Uh, Dawn it is it is a symbol of Serenray. And if you use it, or you can, you can just use it to cast the spell Disrupt Undead, Light, or uh, Searing Light. And I'd like Anadi to have that from her, if possible. Sure. So that way I can cast Light on my thing, and Bob, you don't have to sustain your fucking thing anymore, as I will have a crossbow that glows. Sure. Oh, as My AC should have been a little higher. As a parting gift, uh, Undral gives you guys, uh, bestows on t upon you a, a blessing from Saren Ray as a parting gift. Yeah. And yeah, Man. you have the dawn access to the dawn. Sick. So I'm, I'm putting that in my inventory. And what's it called exactly? Uh, <clears throat> So, Dawnlight in brackets greater. So, I don't think you have this I got book. you, family Oh, actually. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, we... It, book of the Dead. You Sorry. said we saved three days of travel. So, how long did it take us to get to where we are now? Just the one day? Yeah, basically one day. Not even a full okay. day. Just, so, two more you know, days until my crafting check. Probably, like, multiple hours. Okay. Uh, I would say... I, I envision this cart uh, might have been, like... I don't know if Bob got in on it, but uh, um, Dahlgren was definitely one of the ones uh, pushing it. Though, I figured like when it was at its apex, like he was almost dragged up by it. Yeah, I would say once you guys got the full swing of things and started cranking it, I mean, everyone's just gonna be riding on it. Is it would be going faster than probably any of you guys can really run. Yep. I'm assuming every so often there's the slow mode, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, you Cause... guys, essentially, yeah, uh, one, two, three, four days mm. cut off of travel. Ooh, four days. Wow. And so, Excellent. Aboard our Kalamazoo. <laughs> yeah, aboard the Kalamazoo. But this is where the Kalamazoo comes to an end as you run out of rails. Yeah. And you find right. yourself in the old and pretty abandoned town town of... oh there's a token under us oh shit warm heart mine <laughs> yeah one of oh, the cool. entrances to rock anar but obviously no one has been here for a while as everything is basically ruins at this point jungle starting to take it back over but now you guys head back into expeditionary mode We'll call it. Yeah, it's been so long. <laughs> it uh, has. I don't remember how to do this. Seven, what seven episodes since you guys went the jungle? But um, eight. Yeah, I think eight. So oh. uh, we'll just go back down the line, starting with Anadi. Give us that D D four roll. Yeah, and uh, as per uh, my what I normally do when adventuring, I am scouting. So. If we get into combat, we have a plus two to initiative rather than a plus one because of me, which Alrighty. does not stack with my scout's warning. Ah. Three. A three. So do your best to move yourself three squares in the direction you'd let like to go. Anadi starts taking us southeast as per the map's directions. And he's trying to skirt across as least mountainous terrain as possible, possibly staying close to the water's edge if that right. affects any encounter you know, things. Uh, it Beach terrain, would, if Normally, however, I found okay. a new... Someone made this uh, a random encounter table. Oh. So I'm using this one just to have... Because most of the ones in the book are just 
something shows up, you fight it. But uh, go ahead and give me percentile. Okay. <clears throat> this one should have more interest. 17. A 17. Let's see what we get. Or what you get. Uh, yeah. All right. The next couple days are mostly uneventful. Uh, you guys do your best to stay on the beach line, which is very pretty. Uh, to a point. Uh, what Fair at enough. first seems to be, you know, pretty crystal crystal clear waters, like like the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the water soon begins to, you know, just turn almost stagnant, grayish looking. As you Ugh. begin to journey this way, you can see the air is getting a little thicker. You're starting to see like a haze on the air. You're starting to, you can't see as far out, and it seems. As you guys come, I'll just do it like this. Boop. As you guys draw in this southern direction, there's a volcano that is erupting, kind of in front of you, towards Ooh. the uh, destination of Shilku. Uh, you can that doesn't look good. During all of these days of travel, you can see it constantly erupting, just belching. But on this day as you guys are wandering about there's a there's like day of my daughter's wedding <laughs> this day <laughs> there's a there's like a mm. random old man he seems to be walking on the beach picking up shells and as you guys uh well in the fog yeah like on the beach that you guys are at there's just a random dude <laughs> like walking around picking up seashells uh he doesn't seem to have really noticed you yet he's kind of doing his thing uh, what do you uh, guys do? Do you interact with him? Do you leave him be? I'm assuming I see him first as the scouter. I yes. will I will just, from my position, I'd like to see if I can perceive any weapons or dangers on him. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and make perception check. 22. 22. It is kind of hard to make out uh, the, the haziness from presumably the ash and smoke of the volcano. Uh, make his figure a little more distorted. But you think that you see something. He has it in his hand. You can't tell if it's a walking stick or a sword, but he has something. I uh, see a lone man walking on the beach collecting shells, boys. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Step it on the Sorry. BG boys, I forgot to say. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's us, remember? Oh my so, god. So, uh. What's our yeah. opinions? Uh, can you tell if he's crazy or not? I look back at him. Can I tell if he's crazy? I mean, you see him. He's walking around. He bends over, picks up a shell, or what you presume to be a shell, and then sometimes they'll put it in, like, a satchel that he has, and sometimes they'll just put it back on the ground. Are, are you able to tell what he's wearing? He looks like an old man. He's wearing old man garb. I mean, yeah, pretty I, much. He's I, I, wearing kind of like what you would consider normal people clothes. I, yeah. I, I, I don't think he's a threat, he, and he might know more about the Anani people. As he's a turns out to be a coral dragon. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> a good point. He might know about the Anani. He's very close. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm breaking stealth, and I'm gonna start walking towards this old man. Hey, right. old fella. Uh, you startle him. He's like, "Oh, oh, he hello!" Uh, 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 and I'm spider lady. And I still, yeah, I very much look like an Anadi right now. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm here with some friends, and we're just we're trying to make our way to a local other. Well, we're trying to find the local city. There's more of you know people like me. He goes, "Oh, He's, yes, I've seen kinds like you. I haven't seen them for a while, though." As in you haven't visited, or...? Well, I've never visited. I, ah. I like to stay out here in my cabin. But uh, sometimes I would see ones like you who will come around here. Oh, all right. Um, is there any... <laughs> Can I make a vibe check? <laughs> uh, perception? Check. I guess percentile. Yeah. 24. Uh, it, 
it's hard to read. You can't actually tell if he's <laughs> be being believable or if he's being crazy. If this is a trap, I have a plus one. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not a trap. It's a dull uh, person. I, I could. Who knows, bro? He might, you know, make me talk to him for three hours. <laughs> and that is, is definitely like, oh, a fucking trap. Suddenly, oh, he's a spike trap. <laughs> No. Guys, <laughs> listen. If it's a distraction trap for three hours of talking, you know it's a trap. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Um, well, if you'd like to help us, perhaps we can give you some conversation and information about the things that are going on on the island. Yes. Oh, I would love some conversation. I haven't had any visitors in a while. It's like, See? please follow me. As he like begins to lead you away from the ocean, kind of towards the mountains a little bit. Uh, and if you guys, my friends, <laughs> yeah. if you guys follow him. There's like a small little, I guess you'd call it an alcove, in like a crevice of the mountain that seems like some of the jungle has taken it back on the beach side, and in the midst of it is like a little, little uh, bungalow type building, very small, but you know. One person doesn't need a lot of room. Uh, he invites you guys in. Uh, he's, he's very friendly. He tries to find enough room for everyone to kind of sit. And he begins to uh, essentially make you guys dinner. He begins to pour out the, the sort of satchel that he had. And he has collected all kinds of like crabs and clams. Just like various seafood things. And he begins to like crack them open, break them, and, you know, getting ready to make some kind of seafood soup. And while mm. the whole time while he's doing so, you know, he's kind of rambling on. It's like, you know, I haven't seen people around here for, the, for quite a while. You know, it gets kind of lonely out here on the beach. So uh, sometimes I swear, though, I see I see someone flying. I see flying people. Do they look like bird people? Because uh, we actually know a couple. He goes, no, they fly without wings. That's uh, That's weird right. for sure. Sorry, right. I'm testing rolls. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, I have seen ooh. some bird people, though. I There was one day I, I wandered a little, little closer to the city, and I remember I could see, see things flying up in the smoke. Well, uh, that's odd. That's interesting to hear, though. It is. It's also interesting uh, that that volcano is erupting. It hasn't erupted in over a hundred years. It's a long time for sure. A hundred, well, hundred years is not that long. Do you live a hundred years? Oh, wait, yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's long to some of us. <laughs> but yeah, he, he kind of just kind of rambles on telling you about, well, life living on the beach. <laughs> and as entertaining as that is, uh, he begins to, you know, <laughs> cook you guys uh, some kind of soup, stew, soup, stew, something uh, made of like just various things that he's you know, found on the beach it seems to be what well, his main food source is. Fair enough. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, no, I mean, what's your name? Did I ask that or I don't remember? He goes, my name is Jolo. Jolo. Well, Jolo, this has been quite the pleasure. It has. Uh, and you lot are poison. free to stay the night here. It's better than sleeping outside, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I guess, oh, I don't know. Inside. It's not so bad. It would be better if the volcano wasn't spitting up. It would be a very beautiful, beautiful night. Yeah. Huh. It is rather interesting, Jolo. But yeah, I... I think it wouldn't be that much of an issue if uh, we all checked up here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, all right. All right, you guys 
okay. uh, get fed and sleep in his tiny little hut for the evening. Uh, nothing seems to come and bother you guys. It seems like a pretty relatively safe spot. Uh, and the morning, I mean, it's a new day. Uh, when you guys wake up, he's already out on the beach looking at stuff, looking for stuff. And yeah, it's kind of whatever you guys want to do. I guess we press onward. Yeah, yeah might you as well. Tell us. Great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm glad. Fantastic. As you guys uh, begin to leave, he goes. He gives you a farewell. And he's like, you know, be careful out there. Lots of dangerous things here in Schultz. You have no idea. Makes so, sense. Dahlgren, give us the next expeditionary roll. Uh, D4? Yes. Two. Oh, not there yet. Two more squares. You guys draw ever closer to Shilku. And you can tell at this point that there is... While there is um, sort of lava flow going in all directions, you know, at this point in this locale, you're having to pick and choose your routes to get around magma flows and surfaces too hot to walk on, as well as sometimes dodge the bit of flying debris from the volcano. But you can tell that most of the magma flow seems to be going in a route that seems directed towards Shilku. But on this day, give me that percentile roll. Okay. 81. Ooh. Mm. I just assume everything is going to be cool, so I'm like, ooh. I hope we get to do something cool. You don't like the old man? <laughs> the, old man the old man was nice, but he was not cool. Wow. Well, this should be probably pretty cool. Um, as you guys are journeying about, uh, Anadi, you taking point once again, presumably? Uh, only for scouting, but like if All right. if the other people see it, you know, first, I'm, I'm not adverse to that. <clears throat> well, then, since this was Dolgren's role, we'll have him spotted. Um, as you guys are making your along your routes, Something catches Dolgren's eye. You see a... While there is glowing, you know, all around you, you see a particular flare-up of something just a little off your regular beaten path. And it seems... It, it glows with a, uh, we'll say, a, an unnatural hue. Magma has sort of a reddish oranges glow to it. But you see something like green greenish maybe even blue kind of just flicker up oh god it's cynic and a few minutes later you can see another one uh dogwin will point these out to people if he can just colors uh like glows almost not quite like fireworks but almost like um it's like a, a small gout of flame like some someone mm -hmm. freshly throwing a log on a fire but instead of like a, the natural reddish color, it's like a greenish bluish color. Just is Greek fire and Pathfinder? Um, is are they... my shield glowing? Do what? Is my shield Dolgan glowing? First. We'll say at this point, yes. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Is it moving, like, closer to us, or is it staying, like, a steady distance away? It seems to be in a pretty set location. As you guys walk about, it seems to be... Yeah, it seems like you guys are getting further away from it, instead of, like, it coming towards you guys. Well, Dogon wants to go investigate it. I'll be right behind you. Yeah, Anadi will go with you if you point it out, and he'll, quote-unquote, scout to aid. Okay. All right. You guys begin to inch your way closer to what this mysterious thing could be. Doing your best not to stick a foot in rock that's a little too hot. But as you 
crest a hill, you can see a small little camp campsite. Three little tents and three little figures sitting around the campfire. And every so often, one of them holds something up. You, you can see that they're like reading it or seemingly mimicking reading it. And you probably maybe hear faint chuckling over the bubbling of some of the magma. And then he just kept the individual casts it into the fire. And that causes a, a flare up of like bluish greenish color, unnatural color. And depending on how long you guys watch this, it seems like each of these individuals kind of just do this every so often. Like they, it almost seems like they're talking, having conversations. And sometimes they'll just take something sitting beside them or out of the bag and just throw it into the fire. And anyone who is, would like, you can make perception checks as you are watching these things. Yeah, why not? These people. Copy, hey, Damn. Pretty good perception checks. Man, I love being a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so good. It looks like this. you guys, uh, a naughty extra sees this, but you all. I mean, I have four see, eyes. <laughs> you guys all <laughs> see that these three individuals seem to be garbed in some kind of reddish clothing. It's kind of flowy from what you can tell. And you can also tell that these three individuals are skeletons. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Dahlgren draws his, uh, his face breaker and looks to uh, the rest of the party, he wants to see what they think. We did just kill a shit ton of skeletons, but... These ones seem to have some form of intelligence. I've never seen a skeleton laugh before. They they could be baby liches. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, Zig? <laughs> Would oh, you maybe, kill a baby? Maybe if it was the a other lich, skeleton. Yes. Oh my god. Didn't have a funny bone. Maybe those All right, Bob, you can go. You can yeah. check if they're good people or not, then. <laughs> <laughs> For that fucking joke. I I mean, my my shield is glowing, so they're I, you know. I'm just, just saying there could be a chance. That just all, literally all that means in, in, all in undead second edition it does. Is evil. That is that is exactly what that means. That is actually a technically attached to an alignment. Yeah, yeah which are getting find removed. A second edition. Yeah, actually he's right. Yeah. <laughs> they might not be evil anymore, guys. We don't know. <laughs> they got rid of chaotic evil. It doesn't mean anything oh. anymore. <laughs> I can do what baby. I want. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You can't, cable. Just rip you, you can't deal off. extra good damage to me. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, I'm just saying, you know, perhaps just if you want, make yourself known. We'll stay back here and then they'll look at you and then we'll shoot them with a bed. I, uh, actually, with my 37, can I see what they're throwing into the lava? I might have missed that if you described it. Um. Well, yeah, we'll say with you, you can tell that they seem to be throwing paper into the fire. They'll sometimes have it, like, rolled up. They'll sometimes take it out of a tube. Sometimes they'll rip a page out of a book. But they seem to be throwing paper into the fire. Every time they do yeah. so, the fire ignites with unnatural colors. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not going to lie, guys. It doesn't look like they're doing anything wrong. So perhaps we should ask. Dogan's down for that. Isn't yeah. putting away face breaker. Oh but... no! You should walk out carefully. <laughs> and Anadi is going to walk fifteen feet away from the party and stealth into the bush without needing to make a check. All right, the bush that's Actually, on fire. Okay. <laughs> there's no. Is there trees around here? We're on a mountain. Uh, technically yes, but they're all like burned up and or dying. Does a dead forest count as forest? Technically. <laughs> All right, now I get 15 feet away, and <gasps> I'm, right. Im I'm immune to anybody that's not actively searching like a guard. <laughs> just goes all predator modes. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, just... yeah. So who said they were walking up to him? Uh, Algren will <laughs> go up if see. anybody else is coming along with him. Uh, yeah. Zig's going to hang back. I will also oh, hang yeah. back with my weapon drawn. What was that, Bob? Because... I'll join you, I'll join you. Alright, Bob and Dolgren. 
go walking up. And I think that I guess that's everyone who's going to go. So yeah, uh, the two of you guys kind of come walking around the hill. Uh, you know, just like the old man, these dudes are just enjoying their lives, I guess. Uh, not paying attention to their surroundings. Uh, but eventually one of them spots you and they come walking up and they kind of like... They kind of like... Da -da 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 -da. And the other one's kind of <laughs> spin around. Oh. It's like... <laughs> yeah, you can hear them kind of... Ah, and then they all turn back oh. to look at you and one of them just like... Hey, it waves. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> My name is Dolgren of Clan Stone Smasher. Hey, what you be? <laughs> I am Ickit. Pleasure to meet you, Ickit. And this is Wicket, and this is Stickit. Ah, I know some goblins that had a similar naming convention. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, that's that's kind of cool. I've never met any goblins, but, uh, what are, what are you guys doing about out here? We don't see many of you, uh, fleshies walking around. Oh, well, we were traveling down to Shil uh, Shoku, and we saw your, uh, uh, light show you were creating. We wanted to investigate. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we disturbing you? No, no it was just unusual. Yeah. It piqued our curiosity. It goes, yeah, kind of just passing the time, one of them takes out uh, some paper and throws it into the fire. But he goes, you head down to Shilku? Uh, maybe not Maybe not go there. You, you might get burned. Oh, oh my. Might, he goes, you might end up like me! And he jingles his bones a little bit, and then they all laugh. <laughs> From <laughs> Volcano, or is there something else? Oh, uh, he goes, ah, I'm just messing with you. But for real, though, that, that city's on fire. Uh, no, it's something else. Fire. Something else turned us into skeletons. You say the city is like, on fire. We yeah. should recruit them so Zach can play three more NPCs. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> they act as a troop. <laughs> yeah, cool. Like, That's a cool idea for a character. <laughs> but so like, goes, when he's getting on fire, what do you mean by on fire? Like literally on fire? It's like, it like, yeah, it's see that mountain. That's like pissing magma everywhere. Shilku's right in the path of the of the fire. It's taking like the oh. brunt of it. Well, ah, oh. that's unfortunate. Well, Can why? I not hear this? I don't know. <laughs> how good's your hearing? I mean, they're, how they're good's a thirty-seven perception? <laughs> they're not yelling it. They're just they're no. They're talking with. Bob I can Dolgren, read lips. So, oh, they don't have lips. They're fucking yeah. skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on how far away those two are, how loud the skeletons have to talk. <laughs> Came to bat you in the ass, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but yeah, you can hear what Dolgren's saying at least. Yeah, but uh, the three the three of them are kind of like, well, if you guys aren't going anywhere anytime soon. One, one kind of pats the ground beside him. Come, join us by the fire. <laughs> Keep your fleshy bits warm. <laughs> uh, should I Actually, guys? And Dolgren may be forgetting that he's got other buddies waiting over the hill. We'll, uh, join them. Yeah, so should I get the other guys too and tell them it's all cool or what? Oh, even... uh, perhaps. Alright. I I if you don't, I'm 15 of feet away from the party, or from you guys. Just <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, how did you come to be a skeleton? Uh, they go, ah, well, this was kind of our choice. Uh, he goes, we, we were part of a group, a, a guild, I guess you could call them, and we got, we got, you know, pretty higher up in the ranks and part of part of the uh, prestiging process uh, you become an undead and the higher prestige you get the more powerful version of an undead you become so we made the skeletons but uh, <laughs> we, we've kind of had a change of heart which is funny because we don't have those and they all kind of laugh it's a real risk tickler you tell <laughs> <laughs> that is that is actually <laughs> hilarious. And as they're talking to you, he's like, "Oh, you want to you want to hear a funny vote? A funny one?" He's like, 
he pulls out a page out of a book. He's like, rouse skeletons. I think we're already roused. And he throws the fire into the uh, the paper into the fire. Are they reading off jokes and throwing them into the fire? <laughs> um, no, it's a spell. Rouse skeletons is a spell. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, Banner. Another one. Don't worry, Dahlgren with his one in Arcana knew that. <laughs> Another one pull, pulls out like a piece of paper from a tube. It's like ghoulish cravings. Ah, I haven't had those since I met your wife. He throws it into the fire. Hey, you guys just, laughs. Wait, you guys just, they just have a shit ton of spells they're throwing into the lava? It's like, guess we're skeleton <laughs> wizards. Oh, spooky scary. Oh, <laughs> skeleton spells <laughs> well, well, I guess ex Nemancers, if you want to be literal about it. And the other ones are kind of like, eh, that's, you can do better. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> what is the skeleton's favorite snack? What? Guess. Uh, it's dumb. Is it a knuckle sandwich? No. It's spare ribs. I, I, I love envisioning Kelly Sewell saying that in that tone. And then going, I, I, I love that, that in my head so much. Uh, oh, or, yeah. No, they go, what, you, are, what are you uh, fleshy ones doing fruit. out here? It's kind of dangerous right. with the exploding volcano and all. We're heading to Shilku, but you well, it's on I fire. Th I thought I heard something. It's on fire? Uh, yeah, it's on fire. He takes another piece of paper and throws it. How how long ago? When? Uh um, why? I mean, volcano like maybe a week. Yeah, that kinda of covers the why. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> The why is not important. Yeah, I, think, uh, I think it's been exploding for like a week now. Is I don't mean to sound superstitious, but we met somebody earlier uh, two days ago that was mentioning that the volcano was dormant for a long time. As, is, oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. We're not from around here. Oh, shit. We're from uh, Do you know if the from where? From Thay. Oh, shit. Wait, Nanani doesn't know anything about that. Ah, all right. It's a city. Yeah. Way out in the mainland. Other side of the continent. Uh, does does Callie maybe know? Can uh, I make a society check? 21. 21? You cannot recall even hearing of the name Thay. Not Sword Coast. Got it. Huh. Uh... But do you know if there's any survivors of Shilku? Like, lava doesn't just flow extremely fast. They had to have seen it coming, right? It, one of them uh, goes, I, I don't know. Oh. We haven't been, we didn't go into the city once we saw it was on fire. So we kind of just turned around and came out here. And we've just been hanging out. Mm hmm. And now he yeah, tilts his hat and kind of <laughs> looks depressively at the ground. <laughs> he doesn't have anything else to say. <laughs> Dogrin uh, lays a hand on your shoulder. We shall investigate on our own anyway, just to make sure. Yeah, it, there might be people there. Right. One of them goes, and be sure to bring protection or you'll have a burning sensation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Lou's laughing, and Nadi's trying. And Nadi's not. Nice. <laughs> I go. <laughs> I had to cut out my water. Fuck you. Fucking hate. <laughs> These guys are the worst and the best. And kick, kick. Please make them recurring characters. Next campaign, we have to see them again. <laughs> okay. We'll see. <laughs> Well, yeah. Algren is good I with could. leaving these guys be because, I mean, they I mean, said they yeah. left the cult. They're not actively raising undead, and they're actually destroying 
means yeah, to do so. Spells and shit. Yeah. It, uh, so you guys are from a cult. Yeah. Is that cult currently operating here, and should we be worried about them? Yeah, and yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, should we worry about them in the direction of Shilku? Uh, I don't think so, because the city's kind of on fire. So I don't think any of, any of us, well, excess, are there. But uh, out out uh, towards the, the jungle, where all the, the rotten fleshies walk around, yeah, there's lots of us. Well, yeah, I'm walking. Wait hey. a minute, you wouldn't happen hey. to know, um, fuck, what's her name? I look at Zig, the fucking, the lich. Dude, uh, are, are they part of the... Oh, the I the, don't, don't, I, I, Zig has been quiet this whole time because he doesn't want to say it because if he says it, he's going to have to do something about it. I mean, maybe. You... Well, you guys wouldn't happen to know, and I just dragged his figure to the ground, a uh, Valindra Shadow Mantle, would you? You're like, oh yeah, she's our boss. Well, X-Boss. <laughs> X-Boss. Oh, I look at, I look at take X-Boss. X-Boss. <laughs> they don't work together anymore. <laughs> yeah, we can't hide it with her. They quit. Yeah, they, they're free. You guys aren't, you know, planning on doing anything bad, are you? They go, Nah, uh, we're 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 trying to get in cool with Verasma. One of them takes That's a piece of paper good. and throws that it to the fire. If you still work, if you still worked for her, that would have been a grave impression. A ah, kicker, 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 kicker. They they laugh. Damn it, Cali! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? They're trying to work with your fucking god. Hold on. Yeah, he knows that spell. Knows of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'll. All right. Um. Good. Good luck with that. Yes. Thanks. Uh, you guys have good luck with not getting set on fire. Thanks. Appreciate that. This has been surreal. <laughs> Shadows. Zig is under great inner turmoil. <laughs> Welcome the three of you, me. the three of you, have been a vital beacon for us today. So yeah, unlike, <laughs> unlike uh, the lich, Dalgren is completely fine with leaving these guys alone because they don't seem to have any ill intentions. And yeah. they didn't go through the process to become a lich. It seems like their undeath was mostly incidental. Yeah. Not intentional in requiring the sacrificing of other people. Nope, I just I, themselves. I, just curious. You, you said that you you made it to the skeleton tier. What's like yes. the high tier? Oh, the high tier. That's that's where the, all the the crazy cool shit is. Uh, that's when you become a lich. <laughs> but when okay. you had, but when you got to be skeletons, you had a moment of renewal. Okay. Yeah, we uh. <laughs> We, we kind of had a change of heart. And one was like, you already used that one. Like, well, that's all I could think of. But uh, yeah, we, we changed our minds. We don't want to do it anymore. Uh, Good for you. Huh. Just to curious, perhaps we could... You have a bunch of spells, and I'm not sure if anybody here can use them except Bob. Is there anything that you might be able to buy? I look at Bob. I don't know if it's a spell. You know, I don't know what they have either. What kind of spells are you got? It seems, it seems almost like they've been throwing in a bunch of necromancy spells. It, it goes, <laughs> yeah, uh, we just have our spell books, which is mostly necromancer spells. Hmm. It's just been tearing out pages of the. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I guess we could give you some if you wanted them, but I, we heard that to get in good with Verasma, we have to sort of try to undo our process, so we're destroying our spells. That's fair. I think we should leave them to that. You know, we wouldn't want to leave them gray shadows. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whatever. Dolgren oh uh, claps one of them on the back. I'm Dolgren glad this, this could be an amiable encounter. 
I was worried that we would have a bone to pick with you. Ah, k -k 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 -k. They all laugh and rattle. That's a good one. Olgren has been thinking about that the entire time. He's been trying to come up with something. <laughs> he desperately wanted to participate. It's very good, Olgren. But yeah, it is uh, almost 10 o'clock. Uh, you guys met some skeletons. And unless we you met guys... a carpal skeletons. <laughs> unless, you... <laughs> unless you guys really want to continue, we can call it here for the evening. I think we're at a good stopping point. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, well, they have been a swooping mist. <laughs> I thank you guys. Uh, I thank you, uh, viewers, now or in the future. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. And we will catch you guys next time, presumably the 7th of July, if everyone is good for that. Um, I will oh, be out camping. You oh, motherfucker. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we're we're leaving the sixth, and uh, we won't be back until the, the ninth. Alrighty. Well, if Sucks you guys, you. <laughs> if you guys still want to play, uh, if you guys make those characters, we can do the little goofy uh, side campaign thing. But uh, yes, we'll see. Yeah, I have a I have a character built. So, I'm so close Friday, to two... Natty Village. <laughs> so close, but so far. Yeah, I gotta wait a week. Uh, I, two, two weeks. Two weeks. I I'm oh. sorry. No, you're not. If you were sorry, you would have done it. <laughs> if you're sorry, Dang you wouldn't go camping. Exactly. I I'm gonna be right. fishing like the whole time. If That's you awesome. don't catch a single fish, I'm gonna end you. <laughs> I, you, you know what I. Since I was a child, I've only gone fishing twice, and I haven't oh. caught a single fish. Really? Uh oh. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see so how fun, it though. goes. Yeah, you I know, like I, I, like I love it. It's just I don't think I have the right right gear for where I'm at. I'll get picked <laughs> up when I come up there. How to fish? <laughs> Stick, string, hook. <laughs> I mean, you got hands, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Get a spear. But, You'll be fine. Go yeah. noodling. Oh, yeah, go noodling. Oh, no, don't go noodling. <laughs> go noodling. No. Go noodling and pike PSA, waters. PSA for this stream, don't go noodling. Go noodling and pike waters is the safest way. PSA for the stream, <laughs> I believe in you guys. You can do it. If anybody can noodle, it's you guys. Yeah. Oh, noodling right. is completely safe. Right. And always <laughs> remember to take a video. Night stream. Nice.